Welcome back. We're on a different channel now, Winter. We are on the Earth channel. And that's because it's time for some Mina Dota, folks. That's right. We were going to have eight teams in this qualifiers. So I think we were only down to four, really. Two directly invited teams, Nigma Galaxy and PSG Quest, with Falcons obviously directly qualifying, given their vast howl of DPC points. Seek it, strike, and Winter on the call for you today. Winter, we don't have that PSG Quest uh, versus Enigma matchup first. Instead, we are starting with one of the teams that uh, got through the Open qualifiers. There was uh, only two teams that signed up for the Open, so they both directly qualified. Uh, and this is one of them. This is going to be Kapi Bebra, I'm going to call them, taking on PSG Quest. How are you doing today, Winter? Great, as always. It's always good to see you. It's always good to have, hear your voice. And it's always good to look forward to the drinking session that we're going to have after our, our ship is done. <laughs> what is the drinking session? Uh, <laughs> what, why, why, do you, why do you say that now? What do you mean, why? What's wrong with drinking with uh, a friend? Uh, that, is, that is true. That is very true. Uh, so do, you, do, you, do you like rice wine? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. I often have lunch and get drunk because I have uh, a rice wine broth. I mean, I made sure not to have it today because I have to deal with you. Of course, right. That's what the vodka is for when you cast with me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't have a choice, you know. He, he does. gets me through the day. He doesn't use it for the vodka sauce. It's, it's you know, one for the pan and one for the chef. And, uh, well, we're going to see what our teams are going to be cooking up today now, Winter. Because uh, I tried to find as much as I could on some of these players. Uh, I know a little bit about fun gamers because um, they have Zoom Zigzag, who was on one of the iterations of Winter Bears. Uh, Copy Bebra, not really too familiar with them. They do have mostly Iranian players. So we have eight Iranian players uh, with five on fund gamers. So it's pretty cool to see that region really start to uh, come uh, be up and coming a little bit more. You interested in moving over there, creating our own team? I don't think I have the funds for it. Uh, we, we can pull your SEA connection. Who could we get? We could get KYXY, Mushi, <laughs> uh, Too Fucking Good, right? I mean, there we go. That's a team right there, right, Winter? Surely they'll be able to take on Quest. And then you will be, of course, the coach. FZ, FZ. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know. Well, we'll, we'll what should we call it? What should we call it? You already know the name. I don't know the name. Yes, you do. What is it? Suppose it, uh, suppose it name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what it's going to be called. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at the player roster for former Winter Bears because they they were pretty formidable during the uh, ESB qualifiers. They defeated Nigma uh, in the upper bracket and then lost their rematch against Nigma in the grand finals three zero. Um, but 
Uh, it looks like that team, I'm not really sure why they didn't compete uh, in these qualifiers, if I'm honest with you, Winter. Uh, Busy, you know, everyone has a life. You can't play Dota every week. Very true. Very true. I'm trying to think, right? Because Mikey was always a standout player on this team. I don't see him. He was on any of the teams. And Zoom Zigzag is marked as inactive. Uh, yeah, because he played for this team for a long time ago, back when they competed in the Western European Div 2 when ESL was still running them. So that would have been a, a couple of years ago. So uh, that's where I have him. Just had to type out to our lobby admins. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, other than that, I, I don't really recognize too many, uh, too many of these players, Winter. You want to give us a little bit of an introduction to PSG Quest? We haven't seen them on the main stage too much, but I know they've been cooking winter. They've been cooking with a roster change. You want to talk about the roster change? Yeah, let's. Let's get everyone up to speed. Yeah, I was a bit sad about Kari's departure. He's been one of my go-to Phoenix uh, spammers that I watch a lot. The sight of Vice Rush all the time. And right now they have uh, Ducalis, which is... Uh, I mean, he's a very different, I would say he's a very different type of position. Probably. He's more conventional. I don't know if that's the right word. He's mm -hmm. more the normal type of uh, position. Probably, whereas Kauri, he's a lot, like, he's a lot more greedy. He tries to play the data a lot more, push out waves, get farm. Dukali is more the type that will follow the cause around, try to just play around the cause and take very little resource on the map. So it's a big change up for the team. Yeah, and these guys were were part of my some of my favorite Eastern European Dota as well, like Ducalis and and Kyori, I believe they played together for quite some time uh, on Puck Champ, and then of course the Puck Champ roster changed a ton, and these guys started really moving around a bit more. So uh, it's cool to see them now uh, on on this team. Uh, yeah, we'll see how the roster change does work out for them. As uh, well, we'll go ahead and just jump straight into our first draft already because it's just now beginning winter. Hopefully, Quest yeah, everything here is good to go. Bad. No need for a remake. You expected any big changes after our small letter patch Can winter? We're living in a 735D world. I, I don't. Did we cast our previous qualifier game from 735D? I, I don't believe so. Yes, sir. We did. Yes, sir. Oh my god, my brain it was on the day it was released. Five seconds. I think the big changes won't happen so quickly. It's gonna take like a week. Until people play enough Quest Dota to realize, oh, this is actually really ban. OP now. Oh, that is actually dog shit, you know, let's stop doing that. All right. Do you still expect to see a lot of Lash being contested? It seems like... Oh, Lash is the same, dude. Lash is the okay. same. Okay. Well, well, look, because that that's what I also kind of expected when I saw the patch notes, but I also, you know, somewhat wanted to believe that we'd be living in a little bit of a different world. Mm-hmm. Fairy tale. You know, you can live in your own fairy tale. The disco pony is laughing at you dancing, looking at the disco ball. You think I am going to be gone after this minor change? Minor, no, no, think again, Richie. I'll be dancing in your dreams. The disco pony dance on, dances on. You can't stop the party of the disco pony. Huh? You're going to need more than a single letter patch to nerf him. You know, nerf Bloodstone. Quest Buff Vessel turn to and the support yeah, Terror Blade. Yeah, this hero is still still good. I tried it yesterday. Yeah, the, the, the nerf face the nerfs uh, were what? Nerfs are big, have very big nerfs. Ten percent. Uh, yeah, laning stage, right? The AOE is pretty huge. The five hundred AOE Ten to four hundred, so it's remain. very hard to land it on two heroes now in the lane. Before at five hundred range, five it was uh, I mean five hundred AOE, not range. Five hundred AOE is a lot easier, and in the team fights, you're way more impactful. Oh, okay, Bat is a hero that I expected to disappear into the abyss because the nerf was so huge. Like he got hit so hard in by the laning nerf. The you... flame break. Yes, I haven't played it, but I just when I look at it, I don't even want to play it. Ten Interesting. That big, a, that big of a that big of a nerf in Yeah, I mean. Dude, it went from what five seconds to two seconds. So they kind of tried to rebalance it with the damage. So it, they gave it more. The damage didn't change because the damage takes faster, takes more, but the slow duration got changed from five to two. So that's what allows bad to kill people in the lane because you're not getting sticky in a pump early. You spring break into kill with firefly, Quest and now your slow is only bad. two seconds at level one. 
I mean, sure, at level four is the same, you know, but nobody maxes playmaker, so it might force people to change up their skill build. But at the end of the day, it's still gonna affect bad rider at level one, level two. Those are the levels where bad is extremely powerful, you know, up to level three. Because before you get one flame break and two firefly, firefly level one is thirty damage, level two is sixty. So at level three, you have a huge spike remaining. with the flame break and firefly. Now, I'm not so sure anymore. What is your spike? How are you gonna? your skill points on this hero or can the hero West even be played still as a support well time to see we'll see where psg quest want to be playing it our second phase of bands winter just to quickly go over them the life stealer the primal beast monkey and uh huskar you know i did we see monkey king nerfs i don't i don't remember uh let me check right i think i think 10 no. seconds remaining no why? Is there any indirect now? I don't think so. Right? No, they, they, they Item. changed items, but none of the early items uh, that I think were really going to affect them. I even still think, it, you know... Oh, uh, I am a branch plants 2-3. That affects him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just relax. It's like, what? What? I thought I would have definitely noticed it. What a boss. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so shocked, right? Because I thought, you know, when when you click into the patch notes on the Valve announcements on the Dota 2 website, it's like Chen had it coming. And then you look at the nerfs and it's like, I don't know, guys. This still seems like a pretty good Chen patch. It's a minor now. Right? I mean, still pretty substantial, I feel. I mean the slow uh, uh the slow is like okay maybe it doesn't really change much because <laughs> it's the level four one. Uh huh. And then the but the level one divine favor had to be enough, right? Three armor and now he has seventy five mana cost. Yeah, now now you only have nine armor at a level one spell. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Die, now that you put it that way. <laughs> sounds ridiculous yeah 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 i mean that's so we'll see i mean it seems like they wanted to shake up a few things and uh they, they did kill my support faceless void as well um i was really disappointed by that personally winter slow per cooldown decrease that what a huge nerf and this is not only a big deal because you you combine this with the pat with the nerf it got in 735c and i even think that people might start taking stats over this again i'm not so sure i think in some lanes it's still really good but in many other lanes, I don't know if it really gives you all that much anymore. You see people totally skipping the spell. <laughs> nah, probably just get it at like one point to I don't know, stop. the spell. The spell was too good before, and I now agree. it's kind of like too trash. Bloodseeker did get some nice buffs though, if I recall. Yeah, so self healing is now classified as life steal. So that means yeah. it's amped by lifesteal. To be honest with you, I had no idea that thirst to lifesteal was different. I always thought it was just regular lifesteal. But now, I mean, we've we've seen how popular and how powerful Dude, the buff he got for nerfed so, He got nerfed a lot, this hero. Base Agi? By the, no, Ten by the Maelstrom. Oh, I see. The the 5%, right? Yeah, that's a lot for this five hero. Seconds remaining. That's a big deal. I mean, it's his bread and butter in the early game. You run in, you blood rage yourself, Quest you do damage. Turn to ban. And then you have a lightning hit proc. Procs, you do a, a ton of damage. And now, 5% is uh, it's painful for this hero. I feel like he's the one that gets uh, affected by most with this Maelstrom nerf. Ten seconds remaining. Morphling? Did he get nerf? No. Oh yeah, I think Five yes. Something got nerfed. Nope. Oh, is his items got nerfed. Uh, yeah, his items. Manta style got nerfed. Mirror image cooldown increased. And well, that's kind of about. I guess Scotty. No, Scotty got a little buff. It's still the same hero. Okay. Dawnbreaker, did he get buff? Or did she get buff? Oh. So very early. Nope. nope. Um, what would she want that you think makes her good here? Maybe it could just be a comfort pick. Maybe you're just wanting to try and counter the early team fight and the rotational heroes. And there is Gleams. Well, yeah, but obviously Disruptor picked into it. Which, by the way, Disruptor, I think he might be Quest pretty good now. Do you see that buff to, to Thunderstrike? Huge. The slow, right? The slow duration. That's okay. correct. I mean, the hero needs a lot of love, for sure. Slow duration increased to 0 0.4. So it got it gets the level four slow. Ten yeah, it, it actually might be useful, very useful in a lane. Let's see. 
I think it's really good. I think uh, low key, we might start to see more disruptor games. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I actually think it's kind oh, yeah, of a no. meaningful impact. Something you're, like that. You're, you're always a person that gives very, very logical explanations about mechanics, about the flow of the game, everything, you know? You, could literally, take, you could literally take my job and no one would notice. I don't think that's true. Are. I don't think that's true. People love hating on you. There's a certain <laughs> amount of, you know, <laughs> people really, really like just typing angry Reddit comments about winter. So Five I don't know if I would really three. get the same amount of enthusiasm behind me. But thank you, Winter. I, I do appreciate it. Tinker Ban. That has to be a specialist. I, I I do think he did get adjusted in the patch. Yeah. Base armor. Plus two armor. Yeah, was yeah. it armor? You're correct. And the cast range of... Defense Matrix. The, yeah, the Defense Matrix. Do you think this guy can be a support now? <laughs> I, uh, I'm afraid to say no, you know, since every support now is a carry. Look at Just look at the current heroes that are being picked right now, right? Except for Disruptor. The other three supports are cores, like Rubik, Terrorblade, and Bat Rider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Disruptor is the only one that has been played as a support for through the years and through the ages of Dota. Maybe you've seen a couple of games as mid, but he's been generally just on a 5 or 4. You see how Dota is just becoming the core world? If you're a support player, you're slowly going to get phased out. I think... I think... <sighs> I'm trying to really give this a good consideration because we, we used to see a little bit of support tinker. If I'm not crazy, didn't wasn't Stinger doing it in SA when Loyalty. back on Beast Coast a while ago? You would go like null tallies in lane and then you would kind of just spam rockets and uh, you couldn't really be killed. Now you've got this matrix. I, I remember you did it with Tinker. Like, hey, sorry, not Tinker, Brute. You had a uh, Brute. Uh, support right. I I don't know. Like I remember that this lane brute is behind hitting the enemy hero. Tinker's farming creeps Five and he's shooting rockets remaining. from far. Mm. Okay, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe the brute was the support or something. I don't know. Could be. Quest it could be. Turn to Zeus. Zeus pick last coming out from the side of Copy Bebra. So just trying to, I guess, burst this life. Uh, sorry, make that blood seeker. Pardon me. Uh, at the start of the fights might be ideal. Really good oh, at picking off any of these backline supports as well, the bat and the disruptor. Ten Dude, I don't know. I feel remaining. like that drop is uh, it's so hard to play. Only one stun, Five only live from Ruby. They're you... gonna have to do it really well from the start to snowball this. Okay, I see what you mean. I mean, you do. You've got Starbreaker to combo with it, you know. But but I, Dude, I, I see what you're saying. That is not a fucking stun, man. What are you talking stun. about? You can't. Okay, not a catch. It's not. You can't catch nobody. <laughs> If you use your Q first on Dawnbreaker, yes. you need somebody to yes. set it up for you. It's follow-up. It's follow-up. I, I, I agree with you. And you're playing into what? You're playing into Glimpse, Kinetic Field, X, and Lasso. Like, surely this is going to be trouble. But, but I mean, I mean, come on. The lanes seem pretty good. Yeah, I mean, lanes are pretty good. Dawn, Rubik, Terrible, and Morphing, Zeus. Uh, but Zeus against Conker is a bit like... Uh, like no, I, I disagree. I disagree. I, I think this this is this is true prior to the addition of the leap. But now after Wait. the leap, I think this is playable for Zeus. I've seen Nisha completely own so many Kunkas on this hero. Wait, Omar's Let's see. Uh that that might not be true. We uh we are going to have a, a quick lobby remake winter. So yeah, let's go ahead and Oh, yeah. Let's let's do that now, real quick. Before I mean, we... I wasn't even surprised, you know, by uh, the way the game is being played now. But it just about okay, you know, can't be that bad, <laughs> right? Yeah, let me just get us into uh, the lobby real quick, folks. Sorry about that. Little technical issue here. Lycan last pick, though, huh? What are your thoughts on that? We 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 saw a Lycan in our SEA quals, what's the, didn't what's we? What's the buff? What's the buff? Yeah. The like the useless like in that game. The <laughs> useless like an ouch, ouch, my brother. I don't think it was really all that bad, was it? Yes, yes. Japs, it was Japs. It's not, obviously not just his fault, but just the whole draft didn't come together with the like and the like was like I think the overall last pick in the game. Is the lobby up? Uh, I'm I'm looking for the lobby. Don't you worry. I I've got the password anyway. So if you would just create some space, Winter, create some. Sp You're the enchantress. The smoke ink is coming. I need you to throw yourself in the way, please. 
throw myself in the way. You expect me to sacrifice myself for you, for the person who refused to pay for my nasi lama. The person who refused. Okay, never mind. That's that's not you. That's me. You know, I refuse to pay for your lunch. I refuse to pay for your drink. I refuse to visit you when you are moving to help you move some furniture. So That's I true. Although bad. I didn't, I didn't I was... have too much furniture to move. All right, sits please. Yeah, there we go. Whew. Are you gonna get any new furniture from IKEA? Oh, brother! First, I need to get through my whole apartment crisis first, and then we'll be able to get that solved. It is hard to live in an apartment in Malaysia, apparently, folks, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see, though. But you know what makes it a lot easier, Winter, is getting to cast some high-quality Dota action with friends like you. Our wow. game is about to get started. That was the first time you gave me a, a good friend compliment. <laughs> I'm going to have to sit up nicely. I'm going to have to pay attention to this game, you know, be serious. <laughs> Something is going to happen here, you know. He called me a good friend all of a sudden. I uh, put up my best behavior. Yes, yes, please. We'll see how this one gets going. I don't know. Um, PSG Quest going with a little bit of a faster lineup there with that last. What was it? It was the last pick, Lycan, into the Zeus. I think it's good against Zeus. Don't you worry, bro. Lycan's also good against... Because uh, they don't have stuns, right? They have only one, <laughs> one Rubik leave the Parablade. I mean, I guess the Terrible can be good against Lycan because you steal his aura with the reflection. But apart from that, I feel like nothing actually stops the Lycan from running in and killing everybody and turning everyone to werewolves, you know? Oh, true. Yeah, I forgot. That was the last time we were seeing him. It was what? Lycan, it was Lycan Jug and then Lycan Tiny, right? Is what we were seeing a lot of. And Lycan Wraith King. And then you would get the wolf bite and you would go in. I'm not crazy. Oh, okay, you're talking about that. Okay. Talk about wolf bite, right? It was it was like an off. Obviously, this was when Helm Two was the old Helm Two. I'm just trying to, you know, you make just... some un underlord reference where the when the lichen bites into his target enemy, you know, it turns them into insatiable werewolves that can't control themselves. No, lichen can't bite. He it's so hard to wolf bite uh, the 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 underlord because he's got so much junk in his trunk that he has to bite like eight times, you know. It's like a four-second cast animation. You're the one who told me that they call Underlord Big Butt in Chinese. Yeah, in China. <laughs> We're not in China. We're in Mina, you know? So it's not an appropriate reference, my friend. Strike one, Richie. <laughs> Strike one. What, 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 do, what do you refer to Lycan as in Chinese? Just Wolfman. Just Wolfman. Okay. You guys don't have vampires? and or Yeah, he's a, oh, know, he's a werewolf. You know the China Spontiana? I, I don't know. That jumps around. No. What is it? Just drains your life. Oh. And then they put like a talisman on you. It freezes. I'm sure you've seen it somewhere, you know. You've seen some stupid Malaysian movies and you've seen it before. No? Usually when I watch bad horror movies, and, and there are a lot of bad horror movies from Southeast Asia, folks, it is great. It is great. Um, I usually like to watch the Filipino uh, horror movies or the Thai or the Indonesian. There's not a lot of Malaysian horror movies that I've seen or Chinese horror movies. I don't watch a lot of Chinese horror movies because usually they're too well made. They're too good. Yeah, I mean, horror movies are things of the past right now. People want storyline. People want the excitement. People want the popcorn moment. Oh, this is a great popcorn movie to share with my beloved wife, my <laughs> beloved boyfriend, my husband. Well, it's, it's always a good popcorn movie as well. And folks, get your popcorn popped and ready because now, well, we still need to get into the all pick phase and then repick the same heroes. But after that, we are going to finally get underway with our very first game of the day. As a reminder, if you're looking for the Enigma Galaxy match, that's ongoing now. Uh, they are playing versus the other open qualifier team. Uh, they are playing versus Team Fun Gamers, I believe. Yeah. So you guys can always check that one out. Would highly recommend it as well to stay up to date with all of the action as we'll go ahead and we'll jump back in here just to, uh, I guess, see all the picks. It's, it's an all pick. We we had a remake for a technical reason here behind the scenes, folks. So uh, we're just going to get to see everyone pick their heroes uh, and then we're going to get right into the game. Admiral Tonka. So it is not uh, Omar Bloodseeker, by the way. 
I got my hopes up. Face Support Blood Seeker running around casting Blood Rage. <laughs> yeah, man, that would have been crazy. I would have loved to see it, but definitely not, not something you want to risk your slot on here. As, of course, one team will be able to get into the main events through these MENA regional qualifiers. Uh-oh. I've never seen this before. Are you at finishing loading? Oh, we're good. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. We're good. We're in, ladies and gentlemen. The first one of the day, you know. It always... Uh, always something is going to have to come up here, folks. Thanks for staying with us. But Quest versus Capybara underway game number one of a BO3 series. Uh, this is still a double bracket, sorry, a, a double elimination bracket winter for the four teams that we currently have. Uh, so a loss here isn't immediately the end of the world. But uh, the winner of this will go on to face the winner of Enigma Galaxy versus Fun Gamers. Wonder who people think is the favorites. Because I think between oh, Enigma fall? and Quest, like, look, it's Enigma, Quest, you know, like... You know, are going to be the heavy favorites, I think. But I don't know if it's really a coin flip between those two, Winter. We we may get to cast their game next. Uh, Nigma, Nigma, anytime. Nigma is the We're favorite. Smoking. Really? We're smoking. <laughs> That's a That's... funny. <laughs> it's a pretty good line, actually. That's smart. As a 160 IQ line. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, it is. But you know Einstein had 160. I didn't know that, no. Although I don't know if IQ tests are always indicative of someone's actual intelligence, because I think there's it a lot... It is. Well, I, mean, I think... Why, I think, why else would they do it? Because they like to feel good about themselves. I think there's a lot of... I think there's a lot of other... You know, there's a lot so of So people... you're saying it's like MMR. Look, all, all I'm saying is there's a lot of people who, when they get out of school, they, they lose that kind of, you know gratification and they they lose that kind of experience of oh oh i got the good number i got the good number we we i mean it's not their fault necessarily we all kind of crave for it and we're we're kind of you know we're 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 conditioned to to really like school which is good overall you know the benefits are still good but all i'm saying is that i don't think you know once you get out of school it's not really so much about how good your test scores are anymore you know what i mean <laughs> Test scores are not an good indicative of success no, in the future. No, I wouldn't say so. I think those are the things that are going to end up being a little bit more important. Here we can see that flame break change, right? Only lasting a couple, couple of seconds. seconds. Oh my god, so sad. I mean, sure, they made the damage uh, tick faster, you know, but... Sad. I wonder if you're just going to max it right now. Flame break? I mean, what, what would be your other choice? So you go Firefly and then try and farm? Yeah, you max Firefly, you farm, and then you... Because normally you max Napalm. You, you keep playing bit at level 1. Oh, I, thought, no, I think you, you have to max it. I thought they were going to try and pull a sneaky one down here, but eventually they'll just take the Twin Gate back up top lane. Yeah, I mean, let's let's take a look, right? I mean, what other... I can't imagine it'd be Napalm, right? That just doesn't seem really good. So then your other choice is really just Firefly, and then you farm more? What are you losing out? You're losing out on a bit of a cooldown, though, I have to say. And that slow duration, what else do you really bring to the table if not a slow duration as a support that rider? Yeah, that's why you have to max it now. I mean, before you keep it at level 1, that's why you're more useful in the team fights, casting your napalm. So now you have to re-strategize what you have to do. Because if you're if you are needed to troll... Flame breaks constantly in the team fights. I think you're gonna have to buy arcane boots. Arcane boots have uh, always been a pretty decent item on this hero. Denied! I mean, how about our lichen? How is our lichen doing? Lichen. I do. I do wonder if he's gonna end up going for that helm too. Uh, it did get buffed pretty well, didn't it? Oh yeah, they they let it take you. Now you get the bounty for the creep, right? When you dominate it. Yeah, which is always nice. I don't know if it's like you farm. I mean, it's it's fair, right? If you take a creep, you should get the go for killing it. Because you're kind of killing it. 
Yeah, I mean, I think that makes sense personally. We'll see how big of a difference. I mean, I, I think Thunderstrike leaving this at level one and then probably maxing Glimpse is going to be your best bet on this Disruptor hero. Maybe looking like 131 at level two? six. Disruptor. Two, three. Probably two. Sometimes you need to get the second point in the strike. Just for the for damage. The lane. Yeah, for the lane damage. Mm. I mean, 25 to 55 is more than... Dude, it's more than half. I mean, it's more than 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you are, you are right about that. It's a value point, you know? And our friend, Thornbreaker, oh no, you're trying to run. Did they miss the, th the blood right on her? Am I crazy? Or does that silence just last no time now? No, I don't know. It doesn't seem like she got silenced by that. All right, well, either way, I think this one is going to catch her. No, we're really to run, Rasmus. We'll try and fight through this one, but TA2000, naive. Does have him. Gobbles him up for first blood. Two points in that thirst as well, so lots of regen here. And how about our mid lane, Kanka against Zeus? You said you didn't believe it was really bad for Zeus. Yeah. I think it's still fairly playable. I mean, 26 and 5 would suggest otherwise for sure, but I'm not also sure what the rank of our mid laner QJY is. Noob is uh, pretty good. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely not a noob. Yeah, as the name would suggest, not the worst player in the world. So we'll see. Now, level three, are you still going to point two points in the reflection here? Absolutely. Eager to see how much this starts hurting now. The earlier points in this really were heavily nerfed, but it does start to even out a little bit more around level three, level two. I think the radius is always going to hurt 500 to 400. I think that is actually a... The biggest deal for this, especially in the team fights. It's amazing, right? This spell has always been the same for so long, and then now all of a sudden people figure out to abuse it on support, and it gets nerfed after so long. I mean, sure, his talents got changed, you know, somewhere down the road, but nobody figured out to abuse it as a support until recently. Props to the guy who actually figured out how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. The Parablitz cute. Especially because everyone probably clowned on him, and then he was right. Rasmus, he might take another death. That's a blood grenade on top of the blood right. Naive has another kill. Rubik has spells, so he should be okay, but this bottom lane is starting to hemorrhage a little bit, and Bloodseekers, they love hemorrhaging. Non-stop hemorrhaging. You can smell them from a mile away. Rotation mid already, so they will send Omar pretty early before the six minute mark. His wave is, uh, or sorry, the creeps are basically underneath his tower, so he doesn't really have much to do top. So might as well try here with that boat already at level one. Oh, he got caught. Sometimes you can see the Zeus is trying to jump away with that heavenly leap, but that time, no chance. Duke with some perfect timing there. And he'll even keep the card alive. Yeah, this game is uh, looking real rough right now. Uh, open quite a lot It's true, but let's let's point out why, right? Like we, this is not the first time that we're seeing a one a one-sided game. Let's point out why. Look, the supports are here already. Dakalis, he's got glimpsed. See you later, Zeus. Uh, that's kind of a you know a mistake. I mean, you, you get to make one of those. Oh, the creeps are still aggro to Zeus. That's fascinating. But um, let's point out why, right? Like both supports rotating mid, right from the side of quest. They they've secured the first rune. Uh, we saw at the moment Quest could rotate away their top laner. It was just that good of a time. And here, this is so greedy by Noob as well, but he knows he, he can do this because Ducalis is here still securing it for him. Not so safe wow. Hour, eh? Full, full regen. And he's even going to be able to get up a couple of runes for himself here. Maybe they Ducalis, can make another go. Ducalis has a lot of freedom to run around because bot lane is pretty much uh, a stomp, you know. Well, for them, they kind of stomp the Dawnbreaker, so the support doesn't really need to be there. It's 3k late at 6 minutes. This is, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty rough. There's smoke play now coming over. Zeus is in the jungle, but he's currently underneath this Observer Ward. So Quest playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they have this smoke now behind the Tier 1 tower. Check out this timing as well, Winter. They're going to be able to snag the Wisdom Rune. Scan out from the side of Capybara is, Capybara, sorry, is going to confirm that indeed there are thieves amok. And this is starting to look pretty rough now, honestly, for them. 
Three cannot worth leads. This experience lead is going to be pretty violent. Speaking of violence, we're going to kick things off now just underneath the tower. Noob running on in, has the X mark onto Razzis, doesn't even need the boat, and swipes him up with the uh, swashbuckler kill. Sorry, make the tidebreaker kill. He's not a pangolier. Speaking of pangolier, finally a hero that got nerfed, huh? Is that like uh is that gonna be the end of him i don't know i think it won't be the end of him for the beginning of the patch as they do get that kill top lane onto malik just plenty of dot good rotation out from sting to make that one happen and the tip <laughs> thanks for giving us our first kill pretty much uh but i do think that's going to significantly impact that alongside the maelstrom changes are going to significantly impact uh how well this hero scales later with with items especially zeus he will pay the favor back as he dies in the mid lane noob just kind of running at him with the supports who again are making this rotation right for the second power rune this is going to make uh noobs early game extremely enabled very very well done here uh, and translating into net worth, obviously he's neck and neck uh, with only TA2000 with Naive himself. They may have caught MJ as well. Ward on the cliff paying off here. Nothing he can do. He will die. What can you do right now, Rough? Wait for the next time the gods rough. I mean, this is like the kind of game where I'm killing with you midnight. Mm -hmm. You have a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. You go into Unrag, mm -hmm. expecting a good old time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> we run into <laughs> some Chinese stack, you know? Yeah. Farming MMR in the midnight or something. Yeah. Farming MMR in the unranked queue. There's a smoke play coming around here. Uh, Dawnbreaker is also dying to Ancients and giving Thirst, so she's going to have to TP away from that. That's not ideal. Careful here. Noob is in deep, but again, he is. Still relatively healthy, as we do continue Dyer's fighting. Omar not quite attack. up to level 6, just shy of it. But it's still quite the advantage here. Very quickly, we're, we're going to have this mid standoff for Dyer's some time. Uh, we already have Malik having this first Town of the Dom ready to go. Uh, so we'll see what his skill build is going to evolve into, as there are Bot TPs down for bottom. Let's go. Bring the numbers. Dyer's Kill the Bloodseeker. I don't know. I think he's... He's kind of gone already. How did he smell them? None of them were bleeding. No, very true. I'm not too sure, honestly. I'm not too sure. Dyer's well, no one's contesting mid, so that's certainly going to be a red flag as Noob. He's going to be able to take down this tower with the right clicks. Uh oh, Zeus thought about rotating back as he stacks the camps for himself. Not sure who these stacks will be ultimately taken by, but for now, it looks like Quest will go ahead and move on in. Ooh, they'll at least get this kill here. Really nice job there on the Static Storm. Nothing the Rubik's going to be able to do, but watch as QJY is going to be picked up by the boat. Staying on up to level 6, so he can't steal any of these juicy spells either. And he's not going to live either underneath this tower. I reckon, Winter, Naive gets a solo kill down bottom onto Rasmus as Sting is killed off by Omar. They dive the tier 2 tower, they don't lose a single hero, and they get kills across two parts of the map. How's Alone doing so far? Well, fine. Rushing into this Lotus, sorry, Lincolns. As, okay, another kill there. They do manage to find another kill onto Omar, and the tips quickly rain on in, including from Quest. Stop. Alone? No longer alone? Nope. Only got this one point as well in the shift. Almost max strength already as the Skelly's chasing him down. Ducalis trying to reach him. Has the glimpse. He's away from the glimpse. He's, yeah, yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, he's going to die. 34 damage crit there. Sting may not be safe either as the glimpse now safely used for him. He is going to be able to at least cliff Ducalis. Who has a TP, but it's not going to change the outcome of that particular dive. Tower goes down to the wagon. As Quest it continue to expand their reach all over the map. An 8k net worth lead here, Winter, 11 minutes in. 11 to 2. This one starting to look ugly. Yeah, at this point, even if they bring five heroes, I don't know if they can kill a Lycan. I reckon they can kill a Lycan. You just need to have Zeus ulti, you need to have a uh, Solar Guardian, and then an Adaptive Strike with Fade Bolt. I don't think he's... I mean, he's got a lot of HP, but I think he's killable. I mean, he's not going to be alone, you know? 
You have to try to reclaim this. Well, of course area. not. He's he's gonna have his wolves, but you know you just have to make a go at it. I mean his team, his team. Oh oh my god! Team. There's an orchid. There's a, just an orchid here. Goodbye alone. Deleted. Solar Guardian's not gonna change a thing. In fact, I think they're just gonna farm her now, as they will not send her back with a glimpse. Instead, uh, securing her, her life with the Static Storm, dragging MJ in as well. It's like a a dead hero soup here between the Firefly and the Static Storm. What do you think it tastes like with a Morphling, a Dawnbreaker, and a TV in there? What kind of stew is that? Uh, salty, sour, and spicy. Very perfect. UJY, Invis Rune. He'll be able to sneak by here. Ooh, and he has a kill onto Ducalis at the very least. He might be able to get more. That's Sticky Napalm Solo. Not really the best spell as an Orchid onto... Oh my goodness, onto QJY. He gets absolutely melted. Sting ought to be next here with the shapeshifted. Yeah, Summon's just running him down. Up next ought to be MJ. He's TP'd in. He does not really like the way things are looking for him, though. As even through his safety bubble, he is easy pickings. Yamate says alone... He's not on this team anymore. He uh, didn't. You, did you ever play with Yamate Winter? SCA offlaner, right? I think is where he ended. You told me you knew every single bit of detail of my history. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This orchid is kind of melting them, Winter. What would you plan on? Did you plan on uh, with one of one of the alpha hashtags? Oh. Uh, I don't remember, but I played a couple of times in Dota 1. Oh, okay. Dota 2, quite a few teams. Maybe not official, but Scream, when he was mad at me, so I didn't get to play the tournament. Oh, Sting, good job there. Let's steal the Wisdom Rune away. Careful, though, Boat coming from offside the map. They actually have fixed that bug. Well done, Val. Fight breaking out here as they will send back alone thanks to the glimpse. Everyone else held at bay thanks to the Static Storm. Rum buff still pretty solid here as new by the Solon X mark. He actually could be in for a bit of trouble. Pops the wand, still has the spark of courage as he tries to run himself away, but dying to the illusions, in comes the Solar Guardian. He's got this urn charge on him, but he is A-OK. -okay. And now the fight from behind starting to collapse for the side of Capybara. Capybara, sorry. Sting. Has a telekinesis, but he might not be out of trouble here thanks to that Max Thirsted Bloodseeker. Yeah, that's going to be another kill there. Three for Naive TA2000. And Malik is just basically playing the Dream Lycan game. He can just split push to his heart's content. Oh, he finally got boots delivered, but most importantly has this Helm of the Overlord. And he, he has the best sweep. Yep. No. Best one. I think it's the second best one. Which one is the best one? I think the Ancient Dragon? Black Dragon is the best because it gives armor. Ah, yeah. It, it gives armor and then you can farm the and push the waves with them. In my opinion. Actually, I mean, I think it's I think it's extremely situational. I, sometimes maybe that creep is the best just for the uh, the raw HP for all the, the units around. But generally speaking, I think the Dragon is the preferred unit. Okay, they might have another kill here and a new QJY is going to be able to escape. They probably saw him there with the Blood right. Sting in the meantime does steal only Sticky Napalm again. Sadness for him as Malik. I don't know if he's stopping here. He's going to run up to the high ground. That's a hero with 19 armor, but he forgot that he has a Sunder. Easiest Sunder of his life there is TH2000 just sitting next to the Defender's Gate. Gobbles up the Zeus. Noob just still on the high ground looking for a kill here as Omar has Lasso in three seconds, but honestly just doesn't need it. 24 to 3 now, Winter. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. How many kills do you think they would end up with? 32. <laughs> I think we're gonna get eight more and but, but not too much more. I think we're gonna get eight more. The lads are just trying to have fun. A little First bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it, we're in the closed qualifiers. This is one of the open qualifiers team, but they didn't have to play anyone to get here. So, you know, they're still warming up. Winter. They're still warming up. But things are getting... Wait, is that... Oh, okay. I thought it was a disruptor more farm than a Morphling. I was like, man, that, that'd, be, that'd be rough. Thankfully, the disruptor is still less farm than any of the enemy cores, but... Omar certainly has been farming up quite a bit. Radiance courier has been killed. I'm 
wondering if we are gonna see a ship back to the helm of Dom off in this right? Hold on, hold on. I was just thinking about good. that. I think it certainly makes a zoo lineup more viable. Um, I think the, the main issue you're gonna run into is that frankly the map is just bigger. So that when you do commit to a push, you're in much deeper than you used to be. You know, it, it's harder to reinforce. You have to run through much more territory if things are looking bad, as alone is going to get caught farming on the enemy side of the map. He's going to die to Soulburn. Um, so I, I still think because of the big map change, it's 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 scarier uh, to try and do this. But I wouldn't mind seeing it. I don't mind a zoo push. I don't mind a split push build. Holy moly! He just killed a 20 armor hero from half HP. That was ridiculous. QJY, he's been able to TP away. Uh, they didn't have anything to cancel TP there. I wonder if Malik's going to just keep this uh, ancient granite golem. Sometimes this ancient frostbitten golem are, are pretty good too. Time War 4 is amazing. Low key. With this lineup? With, with this lineup? No, but but I'm thinking like with a Lesh, with an Ursa, with uh, a Sven, probably even with a TB, it's really good. Good Sunder there by MJ. That's proof of concept, basically, of the support TB. Unfortunately, nothing he can really do to stop this kinetic field. Oh, but that's where Sting comes in. This is where we used to stop seeing a lot of Disruptor, actually, as, of course, I mean, they still have to kill him. Alec just sends the creeps on over to kill him. But I forgot, that's why we stopped seeing a lot of Disruptor, because Rubix would just buy Shard and then lift them out of the damn thing. Only a level 1 blood, right? He's been taking stats as Naive. Oh, and there they go. They've caught the Rubik. Not much they can do to support him. He will die. And Naive is going to start hitting buffer buildings. The rest of his team, uh, well, they see where the Morphling is. They've scanned him. And, oh, I didn't even see Noob back here. I apologize, but Noob's going to get that kill. Uh, I was just too focused on <laughs> what Naive's doing. Is he wants to lose his Aegis, does he? But, I mean, he still has three minutes. Link in. Needs to last hit some creeps. <laughs> Come. Uh, let's see. Come 1v1 Disruptor XD. Alright, is that what we're going to get? Will they send in the Disruptor, Ducalis? Yeah. Is he down? Pick on someone your own size, bro. Yeah, right. I don't know if Disruptor wins that 1v1, honestly. Oh, and they force staff in the Zeus. Are they going to be able to chase him down for the kill? Yeah, they've got a glimpse. Static Storm, no way out for him. Solar Guardian is just going to end up in a dead Rasmus as well, as Naive basically just about three shot him there. Up next is going to be the Morphling. He's caught and killed. Three dead, just like that. What did I say, 32? Well, slightly over my estimation. You said a 40. It might hit that, as it seems like Capybara, Capybara not keen to GG out of this first game. Trying to make my pitch and come to Russia. Seven kills, maybe go. One full, kill. Full glaive near. One kill. Oh no, he has X mount. Oh no. Ooh. Lasso brought back in. Who's got the Dagon? Who's got the Dagon? Oh my goodness. Noob's got Dagon. They're heading tier 4s though. This one, Winter. I don't know if you'll quite get up to your 40. We might just get there. We shall see. The push is not slow whatsoever. Another blink on in. GY able to escape as Ducal is dragging them out of the fountain. There's going to be a blood right as well to give the vision. Just bullying them here as the throne being focused down by Malik. Quest, they can't resist though. They're going to go diving. Water's warm. Come right on in as the GG is dropped 36 to 3, Winter. It's where we will end this game. Tough game one there for Copy Bebra, but honestly, Quest just built different. Class. She's not even a classable. Many classable. Yeah. That's where you're superior. I didn't even play the lane, you know, like after the first two minutes you could see a pretty huge uh, skill gap in, in the lanes and that was it, you know, like you gave a team of this caliber that type of lead from the lanes, you're not going to be able to play your hero. Right. So I'm just looking at their ranks now because it's, it's really only easy to check it when you're in the lobby. Um, so Noob is currently ranked 24 Immortal. 
Uh, Zeus QJY is rank 866 Immortal. Um, so you, that's probably what? That's probably like 4,000 MMR at least of a difference, I think. Because I think uh, Europe around 8K is around where you get the, the number. And then I think 11, 12K is where you start getting into top 50 territory. That sound about right to you? Do I look like I'm playing in Europe? No, right? Well, I so... mean, what's the, what's the MMR to get a number here? Is it like 8,000 in C? No. 7,000? Bro. Well, I think 4,000 rank, you have the number. It's like around five, 5.6k, close to 6k, something like that. It's a lot lower in SEA. Yeah, I could have get a number then. I'd be really darn close. But if I did that, I, it would look way worse and way uglier than this game just did. I mean, well well played. Good effort there for the PSG Quest, but they will fall in game number one. Winter, that takes us to our very first break of the day. Uh, stay tuned, folks. It's not going to be too long before we have game number two between Quest and Copy Bebra. We'll catch you soon. That you miss my draws a blank. I wanna go back, back to the early days when life was an escape. Now I just wait for better days. I lost myself in your reality. I lost myself.
everyone and welcome back to the dream lake season 23 mina qualifiers we just saw quite a one-sided victory here winter what is that what is the two for huh game two game two draft number two already started no need to stay on us here honestly for the cameras when you can see instead what's happening in game as uh well we saw quite a last uh, sorry we saw quite a one-sided victory uh in in our game just now warm up game you like you claim it's a warm up game. You know? turn to ban. Oh my god, now the drafts are gonna be wonky. We're just speed drafting this. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Asuka, Elk, and Team H. So we are banning all the carries, right? The supposedly flex Dyer picks of the meta Dyer right now. All the carry ban. heroes are being turn to ban. I swear there was this one patch where anti mage was played as a carry. Ten seconds remaining. As, wait, what you're saying? What? Say that again. Anti mage. There was a patch. Anti mage was a carry. Well, he's he, isn't he still a? I know support. Carry? I mean, he was played as a support. Okay, yeah, that's support, support. That's what I was. What I was asking. But West you blink and you buy mech. You mech. And in the lane, you would just burn mana. Anti mage guarding and Luna. That's not the worst thing. Ten I think back then, remaining. the mana void also pierces uh, BKB. So you can Five cancel BKB TP. Remaining. So you're fairly useful. Kappa. West Esports turn to the back. Chen. Oh, oh, do you think we're going to get another Monkey King killing Couriers all game situation here? Dire team ban. Mm. I, think it's, I think it's almost guaranteed, honestly. 
Chen is one of the better ones to deal with it. Why? He's in the jungle. Ah. He's in the jungle. Dude, he's in the jungle. Diet but what is he farms the jungle right? and he neutralizes what you're doing. So win win. Quest yeah, you know what? It's a pretty good point. Oh, there's the Lesh. By the way, did you see this Aurora Twitter beef Ten with uh remaining. with Hoon? Not Hoon. Uh, yeah, Five do Hoon. Sorry. Remaining. Don't want to get into it. <laughs> you're getting me in trouble. You know, you're trying to get me in trouble. Trying to get me to dig my own grave. I nope. don't think so. I just wanted to see if you had a comment on it. No matter. Uh, as our draft still continues here, PSG Quest opting for the Doom. So that's going to be a pretty big middle finger to Dyer the Lashrak. Uh-huh. Where is your Terabit Lash to keep you alive? Nope. But guess what? You know, the second hero that can keep you alive against Doom, it's a bad in which they ban themselves with the shield. That's the other way. You can't heal, but you can give barriers to block the Doom damage. Ten seconds Universal remaining. barrier. Is that what you call it? Five universal barrier? Remaining. It's either a physical barrier, a spell barrier, or a universal barrier. Yeah, I would always go... I, I normally call it a shield, but I think barrier feels almost more appropriate. Isn't it a barrier? It's like by default called a barrier. But it's called a shield rune, not a barrier rune. Quest Esports. But it gives you a barrier. Yeah. Well, I would think a shield rune gave me a shield, but that's just me. <laughs> the way our brain functions, you would think that we would be coming to similar brain waves after five years in Malaysia. Five years of uh, almost, each other almost constantly. five years. Almost five years. When? When August, is... August 4th, it was the first day I, I landed and moved here. I still remember like it was yesterday, because it feels like yesterday. Time flies, folks. Yeah, thank you for getting ready the birthday present for me. Well, your birthday was already passed. Ah! No. Yeah, it did. This year? Coming soon. Is it? Ten gotta check your Wikipedia. No, I have it in my calendar as well. You have it in your calendar. Oh, well, I feel so special. Of course, I'm really bad with with dates and memories. Oh, it's an odd. Uh, why did I think you were in March? Big and and you think that I would actually not invite you to the big party? Uh, I'm gonna home. I'm gonna say something that might be get me uninvited from the big party. But how does it feel when Ten your age is starting to catch up to the patch in Dota? <laughs> you'll never you'll never catch up. Well. <laughs> well, well you've been preparing for that the whole day yeah? no no i just i thought of it now because you're getting pretty close <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you that's not close <laughs> oh man can you even count what 30 oh, i forgot you're from north america uh, you don't yeah. do math. what do you mean brother it's close uh. it's close all right, all right. If you're so, so you're so old, you're so smart. Talk to me about this draft, then, Winter. How about that? What are you seeing here? I am seeing a remaining. conventional draft from Copybera. Undying plus Mirana. Turn to ban. Monkey King not roaming around. Monkey King call against Doom. Oh, true. You win the line against Doom, and then you have the Disco Pony. You have a Undying shot to save the Lash when he gets Doom, and yeah. 10 seconds remaining. Reasonable, you know? It makes sense. It's just they can't play the lane. Five seconds They have remaining. good ideas. Okay, maybe not good, but basic, decent ideas. Logical ideas. They say the majority of the Dota players, they, most of them have very good ideas about the game, but they just can't execute it. Because executing it requires a lot of uh, hand-eye coordination with 90% of the population doesn't have. You know, if you're like uh, top 100 or top 250 in a region, you're like the top percentile human beings with good hand-eye coordination in the world. Yeah, I'd believe that. I I wouldn't be surprised if you have more than... I don't think you even need to be immortal, top 100. Did, to do that. You... did you know the people that had the highest score in hand-eye coordination are Formula 1 drivers? That doesn't surprise me at all. I was gonna. What? It doesn't surprise you? Why would that? Obviously, they're, they're literally like insane pilots. After that, it's probably like fighter pilots. West Esports. And then, mm -hmm. and then probably regular airline pilots. Flada. 
Maverick, Maverick is definitely close first. Oh, close well, second yeah, place. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, of course. <laughs> I mean, I, I just think you underestimate how how bad we are at things in general as human beings. Like, I was trying to get to the point where if you are a top hundred immortal Dota player, remaining. it means that you can be a Formula One driver someday. I don't think so, brother. Did you see how much, how big their necks are? Oh, damn it. You watched the same video? No, I've, I've, I I keep G-force. up with a lot of Formula One, man. It's a very technologically fascinating it's sport. It's because of the G-Force yes, of in course. the small little thing that presses on your body and your neck has to be strong so that you can sit and hold the G-Force and sit st- in a stable position. Yep, that's right. Core strength. Well, the neck's not really usually considered part of the core, but, you know... They they burn like what uh, a cup a lot of uh, uh, calories every single yep. race. It, it depends on the venue. The on on some tracks, they will lose something like one to two kilograms per race. It's pretty crazy, but it's all safe. I mean, they get weighed before and after the race to make sure that they're not you know pushing themselves too hard. Talk about an easy way to lose weight. Yeah, just drive a Formula One car uh, in the quickest way. Definitely quick way to lose weight in the in the Singaporean night summer for two hours. It's really easy. And then also, if you uh, are your reaction about time, Sepang, Sepang. I don't go to Sepang Se- anymore. Oh, they don't go there anymore. No, no, I don't know. You know, it was a good. It was a really good circuit. I still really like quite like Sepang. Um, I think it's just politics, honestly. But you know, better not to get into that here. I believe instead we can get into this last pick, Winter Copy Vebra. I wonder what, what it, do they need. Wait, they're up against a carry Doom or a carry Slada. Let's try to end the game quickly. Yeah, it's a mid snap, by Wait. the way. Slada is always nice against Lash. You burst him because he doesn't buy armor items early, and then you have a like you point out a mid snap with the minus armor from what's the spell called? Little Shredder. Uh, uh Shredder, Shredder plus corrosive haste plus uh, Acorn shot plus Chen minus armor plus. Doom. Chen minus armor? Does Penitence give minus armor? <laughs> no. I was going to say, I know it gives attack speed and move speed <laughs> slow, but... Uh, yeah, I think what's really interesting is the buffs to Snapfire most recently uh, allow her to do more annoying things uh, if you are in within the point blank radius of Scatterblast. Oh, yeah. It does more slow and more attack speed slow. Too. Right. So I think... Oh, Sand King plus six base damage. Oh, but they nerfed his strength gain a ton, didn't they? But it's like a buff to the lane. Okay, fair enough. In the grand scheme of things. They nerfed like what? It was like 80 HP every 6 levels or something. It's, it's like negligible. I mean, I guess, but it's also damage. Like at, at, yeah, at, at some who, point. Which Sand King will be right-clicking? A lot of them. He's got, he's got this passive called... Uh, I can't remember the name of the caustic finale. Caustic finale, which requires for farming, hitting crepes. Uh, I disagree because it does a ton of damage when you do it onto heroes. You're telling me you don't build AC Sanj and Kaya, sorry Sanj and Yasha on this hero, and then just I build radiance on the hero, and I stand in the middle of the team fight. What's your behavior score? <laughs> <laughs> It's the classic. <laughs> What's your behavior score? Then you gave them a, a smirk, you know. <laughs> well, oh boy. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if this is gonna work, honestly. Because my my biggest issue I have with this copy Bebra draft, it's not necessarily with the heroes individually. They're not like trying to run something off meta. It, it's more of the fact that you have two heroes who are probably gonna want to be farming stacks in the same place at the same time. So you're highly incentivizing PSG quest to invade, and you take a look at their lineup, and these guys want to fight early. They want to clump and group early. You're gonna have kisses. You're gonna have a Chen with an aura, probably at least. It's mech a mid hot wink. You lied to me. You told me it's a mid snap. Oh, I thought it was going to be a mid hoodwink or sorry a snap well still I, I i think my point is still the same i'm surprised actually that this um this hoodwink is still going to be as popular as she is because they they did significantly nerf maelstrom well javelin and as a result all the other items and cores always go for this item and what was the other enough uh slow duration ah, that's like I mean, I guess it affects the lane a little bit. Prepare for battle. Yeah, actually, I didn't. I, mean, I didn't read the other. I just remember the. I didn't read any specific ones for her. Slow duration on acorn shot. Yeah, it's that's a laney nerf for sure, right? All right. And I think that's the only one. All I don't right. remember her talents off the top of my head. 
What's this say? No spells, just auto attack. These guys are doing a lot of all check. Guys go 5v5 bot room, no spells, auto attack. They say fight. All right, well, they've immediately, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> no spell. All right, well, there we go. 5v5, the tombstone's the tombstone out. Down. Okay, I mean, quest, they're going to lose a couple of heroes for this. Chen's going to try and farm up this tombstone, but he can't do it fast enough. He's going to go down. QJY, oh, it's a mid sand king, and he's going to be blasted away into smithereens as Noob's going to escape. They actually only lose the Chen. That was kind of an unbelievable fight. Abba Bannon, right click. Oh, they slowed him. Oh. Who's got the oof? Undyne has the oof? What? How you stick to people with DK? I mean, you had the legendary the boots of Venom undying. You can never escape from that zombie. It's your worst nightmare. The last thing you don't want to see before you go to bed is an undying chasing you with all Venom. I think that's far from the last thing I want to see before I go to bed. You know what the last thing I want to see before I go to bed is, Winter? Uh, me. <laughs> no, no. Come on now. My, that, 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 that would have been kind of funny. But I was... I was going to go a different direction. I was going to say alarm set for, you know, four hours from now. <laughs> oh, that's, that's that's a pretty bad one. You. Oh, my goodness. Four hours from now. Come on. I, I swear. I wouldn't even be surprised if you said that. I'm like, oh, that's new. That'd be absolutely brutal. I don't know about this mid lane, by the way. I, I want to check in on our side lanes real quick just because this is... I mean, it's a support lash. I'm surprised he's going lightning storm on the support lash. Normally, when I've seen support lash, it's between the edict and the split earth, and maybe one point have lightning storm at five. Um, so I'm really shocked by that, honestly. I guess it's because he's playing into the range lane, but we'll see if this really works out for them. I have my doubts. Mid lane. Don't know when the last time I've seen a sand king mid is winter. Two zero one five. That's before my time, honestly. Better already. I mean, why? Why would you? What was the lane? I don't remember. What would you do? Uh, who would you lane against as a sand king? Why would people do a mid sand king? But I remember there was a time sand king was played mid. I'm surprised because back in those days, it was considered dishonorable as a mid laner if you denied. People were like, just last hit, bro. Don't deny. And then Dendi was like, actually, Dude, have, have you played against Sumel? Just alone. Just farm, no denies. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. MJ, oh, he had Blood Grenade. I don't think he would have won that trade anyway, not with the eight stick charges. So instead, he is going to take Omar for a bit of a chase. This is a fast hero, though. 325 to the 300. Oh, what, but he, he turned around. Back? He turned around. Brother. Gifted Omar. Another kill there. The tombstone's out down bottom, but it's not going to catch anything here. So that shouldn't really be too much. Wait, hold on. People are saying he's, that Nigma lost. Who? To fun gamers. Is that true? Ah. He's not trolling you. You think? No! Nigma actually lost the first game. Or they have oh, the score okay. wrong on the stream. Yo, that's crazy. What? Is is fun gamers, like I said, they're part of old winter bear, so maybe. Maybe there is something there. They, they catch Omar, and this is more of the build I was expecting. The Edict build on support Lush is a thing. Shout out to Slasher. Oh, no. That's where you got your support faces void content. <laughs> Maybe. Guardian Greaves, Sal, Chrono, your team, and heal every single one of them. Kill is down bottom there. Sorry, I thought it was going to be top. It's on Erasmus. Uh, he oh, okay. drops a PSG quest at least starting to open up a bit in this bottom lane. I do wonder what QG, QJY's goal is going to be here, though. He wants to build you. You actually just get a bail, I guess. That's the best bail for you. I don't see you getting any other items. The bail travels. Agrims, I know the Agrims is Imba. That Monkey King. I'm thinking like, All right. how do you initiate though? How do you live in fights? Because it's an, it's an off lane on dying. So he's going to go what? Mana Boots into 
shard into Echo Saber? Is that still the build? Echo Saber? No, they changed it. That was the last time I saw a lot of Korra Undying. I don't know, I've got a friend in mid-immortal who spams a lot of this hero, but I've... I lose... Okay, kill there, by the way. QJY Who in the right mind would play spam this hero? You, you remember Gray? Oh. It's not. <laughs> Alone? In trouble? Dead? And... Ooh, Malik? Oh, he's so tanky. He's so fast, too. Two points in the seed. Do you make it quite difficult to farm, to fight into, but... This Monkey King, uh, that's already his second death. This noob's already level 6, by the way. 11 dies, that, that'll do it. 34 last hits as well, so... Uh, I don't know if this mid-Sand King has really been working out as much as they have would have hoped. Yeah, I mean, the denies look really easy, honestly. Even though this hero has the worst base attack time in the game. Worse, probably be worse than Doom. Good wing. Yeah, worse than Doom. Sorry, the kill was top what? lane. Yeah, her base attack time is two. I think uh, Doom, Doom's got buffed a while ago. I think he's like 1.8. Oh. Doom is still worse Trium, than... Trium protect her? No, no, base attack time. Base attack time. Not, not... Hoodwink is the slowest? Hoodwink has... Not attack speed. Not attack speed, base attack time. So uh, base attack time modifies how well attack speed works on you. Did you ever notice, like, when you when Jug gets stats, he attacks way faster? Oh my god, I'm, uh, Winter, you're distracting me. He, he, he attacks faster than anyone else would. I'm trying to encourage good conversation about Dota. How am I distracting you? It's hard to... I'm trying to understand, you know, I didn't know about this. I have to catch up with a lot of the kills. Base attack timer thing, you know? Mm -hmm. I thought it all works the same way that makes me. Nope, no, nope, nope. It, it does make a difference. That's why, like, the base attack time talents, you know, like... Okay, here's a good example. Do you remember Necrobook? Mm -hmm. You know how that warrior was just swinging that damn axe all the time? He, Zero base attack time. No, no, no. He's, he has some base attack time. But did you ever, like, give him a solar crest or something? Oh, this is just another kill there under QJY. He's going to have to walk back to lane. I mean, th this Oh, lane, I, rem I remember. Right? I remember. You would give him solar crest and, like, his attack, he, which is crazy, right? Even though it's, like, only plus 60 attack speed. But you give plus 60 attack speed to other heroes. And, yeah, that's a lot, but it's not, like, you know, it's not that much. It, it, in the formula, it affects how much you're actually getting naive. He's going to take a death here, actually. They will catch him. Nice job putting together the slows there for the kill, utilizing that tombstone. But it means they probably lose the monkey alone in the top. Is alone. Oh, no. I definitely did not know that... Uh Blue Wing has the lowest. Mm -hmm. This is actually, I believe it's 2.0. I, I, they might have changed it, but Doom used to have the worst, and then when they introduced Hoodwink, the they, they did they change yeah, it. Yeah, they kind of nerfed the hero because he was like really in right. in some patch. They made it so that he had a long swing. <laughs> yep. I think it's because if you gave her a good base attack time, she's already an agi hero, and she has Acorn Shot, which is an attack modifier or an instant attack of, uh, effect. This hero would be insane. This hero would be way too much. Knife fighting to the death here will go down. Just cannot really subsist through the edicts, and they're just back straight top lane. God, so hard to catch up. This is what twenty kills in seven minutes. It's insane. And Chen, he's taken down towers already. Winter. Oh, hold on. Is, is it all chat? This is why they went. They went for the Chen right away. Nice to meet you, Omar. But chill. You have to see them having fun. Yeah, attack. doing their best. They've been all chatting since five minutes into game one. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 7k, the net worth lead here already. Quests are pretty firmly in control, as we can see Ducalis now. I mean, Dyer's there's no even mid tower for him to take. That's how out of control this mid lane was. Smoke play now from Copy Bebeda, but they, they don't have any level sixes. And they're fighting into a 6 Snapfire, almost a level 6 Chen, and a level 9 Hoodwink. Here we go. Sting. He's going to break the smoke. Well done, at least. But he can't do anything to save the Sanking, who is just dead like that. MJ running in from the side, but you have the Chen army creeps to tank the Edict Explosions. There is level 6 now, so not even Omar is going to go down by the looks of things. Omar gobbles up the Tombstone as a lone jumps in. He'll at least take down the Snapfire. Not so bad bad here, but it looks like he won't be able to get off the ultimate, and Malik is coming in. He has a Doom should he need it, and he will just go ahead and drop it anyway, just to secure the kill. A 4 for 1 trade now is only the arrow. 
was going to be left out from Sting. He was able to leap away out from trouble, but Winter, this one, the writing's very clearly on the walls here. What can you do? <sighs> what can you do right now? I mean, their team fight is actually pretty decent if they can get their levels up with the Sand King Sandstorm with the Undying Tombstone. I mean, before you get BKBs, those uh, spells actually kill you very quickly. I don't think I'm good at that. Oh man, the J. The prediction by Noob, nicely done. I mean, uh, it's a pretty obvious where he was going to run, but uh, this Hoodwink hero is slightly harder to play than it looks like. I'm checking the Dota 2 here attribute tables because I believe base attack time is in here. It's not. Unfortunately. Oh, it is. BAT. Yep, Hoodwink Slayer at 2.0 BAT. And Doom is second worst with... How do you know stuff like this? You don't even play Hoodwink. I love Dota, man. I love this game and its mechanics. The, the, the power, the, the strength of the items, how the attributes end up affecting and changing everything. That's a level 5 offlaner, by the way, dying. Uh, hold on, there's a, there's a bit of a team fight, Winter. Uh, okay, the creeps are doing a good job beating back Quest, but QJY, I mean, ooh, yikes, just killed by the Chen creeps pretty much there. No, this game's amazing. This game has so many nuances and intricacies. And as I like to say, Dota 2, oh, can you snipe him? I don't think so, right? Good effort, good effort. Um, Dota 2, it's a, it's a game of rules, but it's mostly a game of exceptions. A game of rules. It's a, ga it's a game of rules, but it's mostly a game of exceptions, right? Like, think about it this way. High high armor heroes counter agi heroes, except Morphling. Morphling counters those other heroes, right? Like, like it's, it's you have all these things that are generally true, and then you have these exceptions that uh, in, in certain heroes or their abilities, or most importantly, items, you know what I mean? We're like, oh, you know, Yule Scepter is great. It's gonna, it's gonna, you know, keep you from being alive. Or, or Ghost Scepter against PA is really good. It, it stops you from dying instantly to her as a support. Except for Nullifier, you know? Like it's, it's this, and then, and then there's all these other items and changes and abilities, right? That, that really shift the balance of things. And to me, this is why Dota is such a cool game, right? Like you think about base attack time, and it's really a lovely addition in this game. Cause like I said earlier, Hoodwink already has um, an ability that gives her an attack modifier or an, inst an instant attack instance. I forgot what the specific word is. It's, um, what's it called? It has a name. It's an it's it's instant it's an instant attack. I'm pretty sure, right? So it means you can crit on it, you can proc Maelstrom and stuff. It takes your base, blah 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 blah, right? Now, there's a couple other things like this in the game. Um, remember Abacor when people were building uh, Echo Saber Shard and Battle Fury? That was also another. Like it, it's it, it's a thing of beauty, right? Because the, the game allows you to do just monstrous things. Broach? Is Broach one of those things now? Yeah, although I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of the change, honestly. Not being allowed to crit on it, I think, is a band-aid fix. Because now I think this item is back in the dumpster. I don't know who else is going to buy this item anymore. Except for, like, maybe a Morphling? You still a counter that you into high armor here, right? Yeah, that's what that, but, but only if you never build crits. So I'm thinking, like, well, which high stat hero, which can benefit from this item, no, doesn't really care about it? I'm thinking Morphling, Morphling right? Imagine a morphing with uh, Kanda and Brooch. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Sting? Why would you actually buy the Brooch? Sting might live here. He kisses? No, he's gonna die. Tombstone on the high ground is going to be deleted. Level 6 offlane on dying here. Really struggling. Everyone on this quest side is now more wealthy than the Kopi, ba Kopi Bebra side. Sorry. Oh, they're getting another kill here onto the Undying. He's unable to escape. Down he goes. It sounds like a drink you would get at the Kopi Fiam. Kopi Bebra? Yeah. yeah. Some coffee <laughs> with. Ah, oh, boss. Whatever. Kopi Bebra. Huh? Ah? 
Kopi O. Imagine coffee with tea with uh. Top tower has what would be the third scanning. ingredient? Oh, we already have like butter, coffee, tea, and butter mm. in together. That's pretty good. Honey. Oh no. Hey. Alone. We're gonna go down. Um, what's it called when you order just like black coffee? It's kopi o kosong something, isn't it? Kopi o kopi o kosong. Yeah. But isn't there another way of saying that? Americano. No, 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 no. Era kopi tiang. <laughs> <laughs> A tip there on the sting. I think he's getting his creeps arrowed. That's my favorite beverage, by the way. Uh, te o limao. No, black coffee. Oh, really? Yeah, because it doesn't break my pass. Wow. Doom, huh? <laughs> he just says no. Leave me farm. Well... Getting, uh, well, it is just quite frankly speaking, one sided. Malik's like, don't cut waves, just jungle. My goodness. Such a. Oh, sorry, my bad. Noob got another kill. Noob's just solo killing the offlaner here, 15 minutes into the game. Um, uh, uh, they're, they're like putting in demands. At least give us one lane. Look at this. They're like, they're giving deals. <laughs> Jenkins voice sign. He's, so he's a good businessman, you know. Well, he's trying. TJY goes through the gates. Will they chase him? They actually will chase him. We'll see what they can get. Noobs outside of the base killing anyone that dares show. Monkey King is coming to cut a wave. So he's breaking the uh, truce. TJY just begging to get his first item online. Do you actually believe the truce, you know, in SEA? Oh, and no defend. You believe that shit? No, I don't believe it. In fact, sometimes there's there's this little funny thing. Oh, they killed him again. You lied. <laughs> Noob actually found him. Sometimes in C, there's this thing where like you have this bell curve where your teammates, they'll give up enough. All right, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, nice cookie, but there's another leap charge. He's a traitor, says Malik. MJ, under his tier four towers. He might not be safe here as the Tombstone's even committed to try and keep them back. Naive, he may have overcommitted, but he'll at least get this kill now onto the Lash. He does have an Aegis, but he's in quite deep now. They have propped the buyback. There's going to be a split Earth here. Oh, no, there's not. No, there is not. He, His ass blinked away from you. Well, that could have been an opportunity. Maybe it still is. Nope, doesn't really look like it. Top lane of barracks have been deleted. Quests are going to reset and push, but alone really chasing really wants this kill i don't believe he's gonna get it and he is going to be encircled and killed truly alone there you know trying to challenge uh, the sala to a 1v1 duel oh my god malik was about to doom her <laughs> Blink. It's dagger on Sanctum. Oof. The last hurrah. The last hurrah. One more fight for the boys. The sting goes down. Noob. I don't even know where he got that kill. The the Chen creeps are pushing. They've doomed the Undying. Uh, no chance for him to get the Tombstone off. That's a pretty good initiation by QJY, and he will at least get that kill. The instant buyback out from Naive. Countered by the instant buyback now from Rasmus, as they have tipped Naive. Uh, inside the base, but quickly out of it is Noob, and right back into the fight is Naive as he gets a two-man crush. A beautiful counter initiation here at Quest, cleaning up in style. The instant die back there from Rasmus. And, uh, well, I dare say, Winter, this one is over. What a bold statement, Richie. How dare you. So what have you learned? This game? Not much. What? Thanking me does not work. <laughs> well, I don't know if we can really give this a fair a fair shake. I don't know if this is really a fair shake, just speaking quite frankly. One team just I mean, I don't know, these this game especially should speak for itself. A little bit of a clown fiesta to start with, but uh, nothing quest cannot dispatch of folks. 
as once again won a last final fight here. This really has to be about it. Not sure what else. Oh, that's a nice good arrow onto the Chen. Can they actually catch him though? Split Earth. Yeah, all right, not bad. He's got buyback. They might just commit it here because, you know, they're up 27K. Naive completely whips on the stun there. And in fact, they get the leap away. He could be dead for this. Yeah, oh my God, that acorn shot. Talk about nutty. That's insane. Noob on the triple kill here. He should do well to get himself now at least an ultra kill. They won't buy back and copy Bebeda to get him on the rampage, of course, but that's a team who knows their strengths by all means. There's something about the way you say that, man. Copy Bebeda? That yeah, just makes me want to go have orders and copy from the morning. Well, might have some time. Boss, copy Bebra, Satu. Copy, copy Bebra. No, actually, Dua, because I'll be going with you. Right, Dua, Satu Panas, Satu Ice. In trouble here. They're going to get out the ultimate. Can they land a stun? They missed the boundless strike, but they're going to catch up to Malik, who's going to turn Doom and just completely wreck them. I mean, they. Oh my goodness, these acorn shots. I don't believe him with that Crystalis. He's on the Ultra Kill. Will he be able to get the Rampage? No. Omar steals it away, and that ought to be the GG well played. As they do tip Omar with the last kiss. And that'll be the game here, Winter. That would be the game. I hope the lads have fun. We've had uh, an amazing time together. As always. As always. In the game. Black Dragon holding the base, ending the game. Dyer's Ancient is under attack. Pretty violent game. Almost 50 kills here in 20 minutes just for one side. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. But that's just the way she goes. That's the way she goes. Not even enough time for our wisdom rune to spawn at 21. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. That is kind of brutal when you put it that way, honestly, Winter. Well, we sure hope that they got a lot of wisdom from this series. They learn from the best. They watch from the best. They got beaten by the best. They did. That they did. Hold on. I'm just... It's going to be a while until we get underway with our next game here. Um, but in the meantime, I highly advise you guys to check out the other stream uh, because, of course, we're going to have to wait a long time. It's a fixed schedule here, so we're not starting winter until 9 p.m. SGT which is in two hours and 20, excuse me, two hours and 27 minutes from now. Wait, time for that co coffee, Bebra. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but I'll Nygma, you. they did lose in game one versus Fun Gamers. Uh, so you guys can catch that game. I believe it's live over on the Mango stream, is it? Yeah, so it's, uh, sorry, it's on Tango. So you guys can check out ESL underscore Dota 2 Tango or check out the YouTube channel uh, to see how Nigma are going to be able to bounce back, hopefully, uh, and, and at least take us to a game three. But for now, Winter, we don't have too much else to say about a match like this, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, not make you listen to us, folks. Go check out the other games. A lot to Dream League Season 23 qualifiers up and running. We're going to see you in over two hours for the winner bracket finals match. We'll catch you then.
It starts with this A person that you miss Mine draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself
It starts with this A person that you miss Mind draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself
It starts with this A person that you miss Mine draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself To a friend, we're all shrink wrapped in families and making ends me stuck in jobs we'll never leave. I never wanna be like that, so I hide.
starts with this A person that you miss Mine draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality Lost myself
Hello everyone, it's been ages since you've had to hear us, and that means it's almost time for our second best of three of the day winter. We're up in the upper bracket finals already for the four-team MENA region closed qualifiers for Dream League Season 23. That's right, folks, it was Enigma Galaxy who was able to bounce back and reverse sweep against fun gamers. That's very good. Just going off of name, that sounds like a group that's playing for fun, so I'm really glad that Enigma was able to beat them. Uh, winter we saw psg quest um in probably the most one-sided game of dota or one-sided series of dota i've ever seen in a closed qualifiers uh take down uh copy copy brebra i think it was there was a there was an extra r in there copy bara no no it was copy Reba, Copri, Copri. They spelled Copi Barra wrong. I don't think they were trying to spell it. Uh, and now I think we're going to get to see Winter a little bit more of an even match here between Quest and Nigma Galaxy. Hello, everyone. Welcome I can see the ring. notes you're making behind you. The ring light reflecting on your head. Yep. Notes about how did Nigma manage to lose one game against fun gamers. Well, you know what? I, I didn't actually see that game one. Our game two ended, well, our series ended so quickly uh, that Nigma and fun gamers were, were just starting their series. I went to go fix a snack. It was about five, ten minutes I was away. Uh, and then the game was already over. So I'm not really sure what happened in game two. Game three was uh, also pretty Nigma favorite. Minute. I mean, 17 minute games. Yeah. Game two and game three. So they tried to play Tinker. Not sure what happened game one, to be honest with you, but I am expecting a, a much closer match here uh, as we are about to get underway. Any predictions for you, Winter? Any predictions that you want to... Easy. Easy game for PSG Quest. Oh, wow. Not for Miracle? Miracle. Miracle's going to have to go down to the lower bracket and figure out what's wrong after this series. <laughs> Wow. That's my prediction. Wow, dire uh, dire implications there, Winter. I have to say, Enigma Galaxy, their last qualifiers was going to be the ESB Fissure Elite League. Uh, obviously, they were in the MENA region qualifiers as well. That was a fuller qualifiers, if I'm not mistaken. And um, their troubles were also... I mean, they did qualify, but they also qualified uh, from the lower bracket, it should be said. Now, Quest wasn't there. Falcons weren't in there. It was only the Winter Bears uh, that managed to knock down uh, Enigma Galaxy before they 3-0'd in the BO5 Grand Final. So, I mean, even if they if, even if they have to do it, even if they have to learn a little bit, Winter, Caro, Miracle, FBZ, these guys, Matthew, now El Gotito, they can still do it from the lower bracket. That's not a problem. No, not a problem. FBZ, king of uh, the lower bracket, runs. Oh, I'm just kidding, but... He's the only guy that I I know the most from the five of them. So I'll be secretly rooting for him. I see. Secret. I say secret. He says secret, but he did just tell everyone in chat. So <laughs> make sure you remember that one for later, folks, because our first draft is now just about to get started. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. No need to look at us. When instead, we can look at the drafting genius from Kuro and Noob. It's going to be last pick on the Radiant side for Enigma Galaxy PSG Quest. Uh, with first pick on Dyer. Yeah, Kunka seems to be the flavor right now since all the other offlaners got nerfed. Kunka seems like the one that can still stand tall. He didn't get uh, the Ice Rock uh, treatment, right? This patch. Kunka, everything's the same. Let me double check. The level 15 talent for turned damage duration got nerfed by 5%. Eh. Not really too meaningful. Eh. Just, just to give you something, some reference, Winter, Lesh's 20 Radiant talent was also nerfed back. by 5 damage. So, you know, you're looking at something pretty similar there. I mean, uh, Mars did get a pretty reasonable nerf. Uh, Centaur got yep. a little bit of a nerf. Dude, that's worse. That, that's not a little bit. Centaur one is very, very hard. On Talk the to me about basis. that because it's only 20 damage. Dude, do you know what is 20 back. damage? Life or death? I am yeah, surprised. You, you keep spamming your spells in the lane. So, Quest e imagine you do 20 damage per storm. You can probably do it two or three times in the first couple of minutes. You lose 60, 60 damage. damage. That's one that's right so click. That's, that's a big deal. <laughs> and he's I mean, already been... Dude, why are you giving me the giggles? <laughs> Look, I'm sure it adds up. It's just, you know, you're... 
You sound like the kind of guy right now who's like, you don't understand. I've had to, I've had to change from almond milk to soy milk. Five seconds remaining. Uh, that's my wife. That's not me. <laughs> well, I mean, taking a look at the other offlaners, uh, it's pure offlane ban from PSG Quest as they remove the kunk of the timber and, well, the DK. You know, he's a bit flexible, isn't he? But Nigma also removing a few offlaners from the pool with the Primal and the Mars. I know Mars got a pretty significant Quest nerf. Uh, did Primal get adjusted? No, I don't see him here. Oh, he did. Sorry. Yeah, the Onslaught. Rock got removed in the game. What, what got, got removed? removed from the Rock Troll. Oh, it didn't. If I'm Ice Drop. Oh, no. That Rock Throw is great. You can keep it. I mean, here here it is. We'll, we'll be able to count... Seconds. How much damage he's missing from the laning stage, Winter. If a hero lives on 20 Five HP and turns the fight, I will buy you Nasilima. How about that? That's not accurate. But sure. I'll take your Nasilima. I want the... Quest I want to go to the Boom Boom to place. Land. Not the... Uh, Burung Hantu. You didn't, you didn't like Burung Hantu? I think Boom Boom's Boom Boom's nicer. I, boom Boom means rooftop. We'll, we'll try that. We'll try that one out next time. We'll try that one out next time. They have better sambal. Wow, that's surprising. I quite like wow. the Boom Boom Hunto, Hunto sambal. Uh, it's I, different. I, I gotta be. I gotta be honest with you though. The hero that I did think was gonna be Five having a bigger uh, recoil, basically from the letter patch, was Tiny, specifically for support Tiny. The the tree. Tree grab bonus damage getting decreased, especially in the early levels, seems more significant than something like Centaur's nerf. Um, obviously, the rest of his kit is still the same, but those first few you waves don't can't trade him. Because the stun is his bread and butter to win the lane, and they got they nerfed it twice or three Quest times already. The first time it was, uh, I mean, initially it was one hundred and twenty, you know. Two, two patches ago or three patches ago 120 and now it's 70 and they also nerfed something else can't remember what maybe it was the cooldown or something 10 seconds remaining sure, the stun I, is I, I, the I, thing I, that wins you the lane you know I guess my whole point Winter was that I, I'm just more surprised that Tiny support Tiny who especially soul job early and the whole reason why you take first point tree grab in an overwhelming amount of circumstances is for that bonus damage and, and that took a direct hit I mean that's still good for your second third fourth seconds, wave don't get me wrong but seems like that's more it's much more impactful of a change compared to 20 damage for the entire game um, we'll, we'll see what ha what, it, what it comes into, right? Marana, her mm -hmm. movement speed decreased by five. That's pretty big and big buffs for the disruptor. So that's going to be the solution here to the Centaur War Runner for now. Yeah, Centaur against disruptor plus like some life stealer. You're going to be sad because if you are forced into a bad matchup and you're playing against disruptor, oof, it's going to be rough for you. They didn't nerf Rubik, did they? I don't think they got around to that. No. no. Because Rubik wait. tends to be a solution as well to Disruptor. It's like a counter pick, but because Nigma show the Marana, uh, they don't really have room in the draft for uh, some sort of Disruptor it's, save. So the Shadow Demon will have to do. As the Marana Centaur. That's terrible. Very, very strong uh, lineup uh, right now. I mean, TB is the Five call. Yes, they Quest just feel like uh, because they. Uh, they uh, confirmed Radiant that Tiny is the offlaner, so they decided to... Okay, it's safe to pick my carry here. I see the lane, Tiny Takis. He seems to feel like the Terabate is good in this lane because of his high armor. Takis and Tiny both do a lot of like chip right-click damage from their uh, from their tree grab and your long-range attacks from Takis. So Terabate has armor to deal with that. And we have Anaga, another Illusion hero, the classic... Eastern European combo, Disruptor and Naga Siren. Oh, yes. Every Eastern European team loves this combo to death. It's pretty At the effective. moment, Ice Frog lets the Disruptor back into the playing field, into the arena of battle, and there goes the Naga Disruptor. Well, Naga's been here for a while, right? Uh, nerfs that'll impact her are certainly Radiant going to be the Manta style change. And, well, her 20 talent, or sorry, her 10 talents, I mean. I guess it adds up with all your illusions, but the Riptide damage decreased by five, I think, on the talent specifically, is not going to be make or break for this hero. The hero is still going to be 
roughly the same, I think, overall. Remaining. Right, so do they, what, how do they finish their draft right now? Remaining. You put the tiny mid or tiny off lane. Do you pick like a hero to counter Terror Blade in the lane? I feel like they need another team fight off lane, a front line. Because tiny is not exactly a front line. So they need a frontliner from the mid lane or the off lane. There is still Primal Beast. No, no there's not. Primal's banned. DK is banned. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so so I was I was thinking of DK as well there. I mean, you know, I'll just say it because he did get buffed pretty nicely. Is there's an Underlord still in the pool? Tends to be a good answer to Illusion heroes. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Quest Esports turn to pick. I don't know if that's that's really in the wheel. Remember when Cox was playing at mid as well? I mean, I'm just saying it. It has a little bit of flex, not a whole lot. That might be something they want to go for. Plus, I mean, with atrophy aura, isn't that a isn't that a percentage based? Um, yes, sir. I mean, that seems great versus Terrible, doesn't it? It's, it's not... either that or the tight. I think tight or under lot seems good against Terrible. Five seconds. I remaining. think I would prefer an Underlord. Because Shadow Demon save versus Underlord, like, yeah, it's a thing, but disruption lasts so long, all you do is guarantee another route on the way back out. I think a save against Tidehunter is going to be slightly more annoying. But the lane is stronger with Tide, I think, Tide Techies compared to Underlord. Underlord Techies feels eh. Yeah. Don't yeah, do that's, anything. Prob <laughs> that's probably true. Hmm. Any other options? That's Doom, right? They're, oh, no, no, Doom is also banned, and they've also taken out the Darkseer before you recommend him. You just mm. love recommending banned heroes right now, Winter. That's my favorite pastime, recommending <laughs> banned heroes so that my co-caster can actually correct me and I don't have to work. I mean, what else would you consider? Would you would you consider like a Sand King? We, we did see a Sand King game. Yeah, Sand King, so, Sand King is actually suitable with their lineup. All right. Another kind of frontliner. He's a bit of initiator, but at least he can usually survive a volley of spells. God, I'm really struggling to think about anyone else. Storm Spirit. <laughs> no. Yeah, Storm Spirit. You catch the Shadow Demon and Mirana. I'd prefer a Zeus. Brewmaster is a good choice, though, honestly. Okay. Frontline. Dispel the Terrible Illusions. Lift anyone. Reasonable. Yep. Yeah. Lift the Centaur. It's a front line, kind of front line, right? He's, I guess he's a uh, front line slash D DPS dealer. Not exactly remaining. like a clean initiator, but you have Tiny to do it for you and you have Glimpse. And so now, Nigma, what is the counter? So you know the lanes is Brew off lane, Tiny mid. What are you going to do here? They kind of need another initiating hero, I feel. There's no Puck, there's no. Yeah, Puck would have been Ember. great. You want someone who's like going to some prevent storm. these spells from getting cast, you know? Like an Orchid Builder or... I mean, Void like... Void Spirit, Storm. Ooh, I like Void Spirit a lot. Yeah. Tricky into Disruptor, but you do have the ability to dodge out a glimpse and such with the Disseminate. Disseminate, sorry, not Disseminate. It's not Shadow Demons. Uh, if, if the hero wasn't so ass, I would say Silencer. Just global, huh? just global Silencer. Silencer mid. Well, again, the hero's ass, so obviously not, but... Oh, of course, a pango. Shocked. I'm, I, I, I'm actually shocked. I didn't think this hero was good anymore. Now. You see as now. Uh, I don't know if uh, I don't. I haven't seen whatever uh, Quinn thinks about the hero yet, so I'm gonna reserve judgment <laughs> until. I mean, I'm serious, man. This guy, this guy knows how to play pango, right? Like that's not a joke. I know everyone's like, oh, pick pango, pick pango, whatever, la la la. But like, it's true. He's really good at pango ear, so. Uh, I, I want to see what he has to think of the changes, but the big thing for me, Winter, and for those who don't know, 735D strike count uh, decreased from 4 to 3. I believe the damage stays basically the same. Yeah, um, so, it's you know, a nerf to the Difu, Difu Pango. Exactly. Well, it's a nerf to any of his attack modifiers, right? So you're not just looking at Diffusal, you're looking at potentially Maelstrom and Basher procs, right? Which I think is really painful for this guy's mid to late game like his i think he scales a lot less now because of that one change he probably still going to be useful in the right game i think you can't be picking him all the time blind or just pick him because he's good now you probably have to really pick him in a game there where he can do a lot 
where the enemy has no uh, no spell to stop your roll. I think that's the first thing I would consider when I'm trying to debate whether I should pick Pango. Can they stop me from rolling? How much can I do in the team fights with my roll? You're like Sonic, you just want to roll. Yeah, you mean you don't want to run into like a, a Primal Beast Pulverize or Bane Grip or Queen of Pain Sonic Wave, you know, those type of things. Yeah, or Puck, you know, Prepare Coil. For battle. Well, is there a draft you like better here, Winter? Is there one you prefer? What are you thinking? How how is this game? Part of me call. going to play out. Tough call. I think it's fifty fifty. I feel like Nigma has a very all rounded draft. You have a central front line. You have a shell demon plus terabyte for your tower siege. The team fight is Pango and basically the terabyte illusions. Whereas for quest, I, I feel like they kind of match up with it, with the brewmaster in the team fights. But let's see. Hold that thought. We might see a kill. Very very soon. Never mind. They just uh, they're gonna back up. They're gonna they're gonna keep the ward there on the high ground. I, I think sometimes keeping the ward is wait. Much how did more he valuable. know? Who? How did he know there was a ward? Okay, maybe he was just trying to block the camp. I was like, huh? He knew that there was a ward there. Like how? Okay. Then Ooh, maybe then which, I was like, which ward? Again. Which ward? Who? Yeah yeah. He just plays a sentry. Ooh, use name. Winter. Here. They have names. Hero names. Player names. Kuroki plays a sentry here. Okay. I was peeing. I thought you saw my ping. No no I didn't. <laughs> I think he probably just wanted to block the camp and then he accidentally found the present. I see, I see. Well, quick and easy D ward there. You're scaring me, Winter. <laughs> Not using words. Uh, should be rinsed to a piece here. I, I was using words. If you would have looked at the mini map, you would have seen there are only two sentries on the map. It's okay. It's my bad. I tank it. <laughs> I use names. It's the, the permanent support mentality right there. What? Permanent support mentality? Oh, you al it's always the support's fault? Is that yeah. see? Yes, of course. <laughs> Mushi's taught you well, I see. <laughs> Dude, he's a support player now. Come on. Uh, oh, a tiny mid, a pangolier mid. I don't really think this matchup has changed all that much. No changes to the shield crash, no... And I guess again, th this tree damage, this tree bonus and base physical damage. damage. Everything is physical damage from Pango. Tiny has zero armor. So that should be good for Pango. Right. And I guess really the, the Tiny is doing less damage. Pango is slightly less damage on the swashbuckles now. But I think it's still going to be enough for him to secure range creeps. I, I imagine a, someone like Sumail has already practiced this quite a bit. And so we'll check in on how the King is doing in a bit. Yeah, you can see that's so weird now with the only three three uh, procs of the swashbuckle. You like, get used to it. Yeah, yeah. We all will. The sound effect is tripping you, right? Hey, yep. What happened to the fourth one? <laughs> Been listening to the four swashbuckle for what, five, six years? Five years. Oh, man, yeah, it still feels like this is like the newest hero in the game, but obviously that's that's not the case. I dare not mention the new hero about to release, otherwise we're gonna unleash a riot. I'm so upset about that. Speaking of new heroes in the meta right now, though, Ducalus on Disruptor. Again, this big change, right? Slow duration increase by 0.3 seconds on every single... Well, 2.4 seconds, I should say, on every single level is more accurate. So makes uh makes the one value point really strong early on. It's both a little decide to block. Yeah, here. but I still think you want to get two points for, for a contested lane. I think it's still good to get two points because the damage is a lot of value. 25 to 55 per strike. Yeah, I think, I think that makes sense. I think probably it, won't go past two points. But yeah. R2, hard to say no to that efficiency though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Even this nerfed re reflection. I guess nerfed reflection doesn't really bother a TB too much, does it? But uh, uh, you mean carry TB? carry TB? Sorry, yes, of course. Uh, it's still, still kind of affects him. It's like fifteen percent damage from level one. It's uh, it's gonna definitely weaken his laning phase. And the first two levels of reflection to the hit. Yep, yep. And then, uh, level three one doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can see just there, Malik not getting hit by the reflection. And Tons of damage really being done to Miracle. Who is holding on to nine stick charges? Seems like we're going to have some action for the Lotuses. Omar beating Kuro there to that one. And it looks like Matthew probably got a hold of this one up top. So 
So one for one at the Lotuses. It just makes a little bit of a difference here. Me getting hoof stomped in lane. I'm taking literally no damage from hoof stomp. 20 less damage. I mean, the other thing about Centaur, why is he strong in the lane, is the regen. It's not, uh, obviously, it's not just everything about the hoof stomp. Uh, the fact that he can actually out you and just come back and re out regen you yep. makes the hero just absolutely strong. I think that's why players are still picking him. They're like, okay, I can kind of forego the part where I. Uh, I can be maybe less uh, offensive in certain scenarios and just be happy that I'm last hitting and just trading normally instead of like abusing the stun compared to previous patches. Ooh, bit of action. Top, they will chase away Matthew. Well, actually, ooh, disruption force. There is a skill point saved right now for the centaurs. They throw a blood grenade at him. Good damage out from the uh, illusions here. All that skirmishing is going to be beneficial to Quest because it's gonna, because of like the half pull that Ducalis got off, this wave's naturally gonna push. Naive doesn't miss any creeps, and that deny means that FBZ missed pretty much a full wave here. So that was a nice exchange out for Quest. Yeah, all the small little things eventually it's gonna add up to help you win the lane. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Naive who helped out Ducalis defend that pull. Otherwise, Matthew pulls it back and it's all for nothing. And now he's got a wave underneath his tower. Good stuff. Stuff. Can I kill him? Mm, probably. Tell you every carry, whenever they see a wave right now in front of the tower, they're scared of the King Gate <laughs> gank. That's true. Yeah, but who'd be ganking? You hear a bottom? Yeah, an arrow from the side into disruptions. Very, very good setup, right? We didn't really talk about that. We didn't name it. Yeah, I, I kind of like uh, uh, trying to place an observer ward if you're in a lane where you feel like it could be vulnerable to the King Gate gank. And I think it's pretty useful for your support to can uh, support to put a ward there. Yeah, true. Could be good. Seems like for now, Kuro is uh, going to stay down bottom. Sumail does pick up both bounties, so he got the Dire and the Radiant one. So he has a basically a full refill, even without the uh, the armor. Noob. Oh, he's actually behind. Yeah. He's, yes. Noob Noob hasn't really been having too difficult a time, and now with the Grow armor, can fight pretty decently into the Pango. Dyer, yeah, scan. six minute. Here's when the game begins, finally. Omar is going to stack. Yeah, these will be the first stacks. He's going to get up his own Observer. Kuro has one on his side of the river. Level 4, two points in the Star Storm for Kuroki as he does move to contest for the runes. Supports from top now being called in over to the mid lane as Matthew is going to get caught here by Noob. Rune is going to spawn bottom where it's denied by Omar. He's being chased away but will stay top now where we see Matthew very likely fall here. Oh, but he goes to the creeps that he was pulling. Uh, oh, that's a rolling thunder out from the king. Of course, the king gets first at everything here. First blood for him. And he's able to also steal a little bit of this stack. Not the most, you know... Painful play out from Quest, but a little bit of time wasted and some stolen efficiency. Yeah, good sequence of events there for NGX. Not giving away first bird and getting first bird in return, and now wisdom runes are gonna be up. Mm, okay, Sumer so actually didn't really try to stay around to fight. So he's just gonna go back and wait for the baller if you're gonna play his rune. So Matthew's gonna just pick up stack and pick up his own wisdom rune. Arrow. Oh, almost catching Malak down bottom. Double bracer though, he's. He's fairly tanky here. What's his goal? Is his goal to, to get level 6 and always threaten to kill Miracle and kick him out of the lane, basically? Yeah, I mean, the TP is going to jungle once your Brew Master gets level 6. He's not going to try and fight you in the lane. He's going to tell his uh, Mirana to, Hey, you can actually have uh, the lane. I'm feeling a little bit generous today, so I'm not going to farm the lane. All right, all right. Dyer's top tower. Make sure he uses his ultimate Your carry on. players, you know, trying to make you feel indebted to them, you know. Oh, he gave me a lane today. I feel so good. You know? But as a matter of fact, he just doesn't want to die. Wizard Moons win lane. one apiece, but yeah, there are TPs for top. FBZ does get the stun off. 20 less damage onto that tiny, though. How will they kill him, Winter? But FBZ is going to be caught by the glimpse. Pulled on back because they used the disruption onto Noob. Blood grenade thrown. They should it's have him, six. but... He's tanky. Wand charges and the phase boots. Plenty of armor. Looking for the TP out. Avalanche is at the ready. Noob, yeah. He's caught him here. Move stomp does come out at the end as Sumail will gank opposite. Gets Omar underneath the tower. This uh, wagon almost getting through the tier 1 top is, is pretty decent work. But otherwise, they will have to make another play for the tower. Is that another rolling thunder? 
Uh, yes, indeed it was. So rolling thunder kill onto the techies, and then a better trade up top lane in favor of Quest with the off laner. Yep, Ducalis kind of. Hold on, now it's not level. He's not level six here, but he gets up a really good Cinder Brew, and then just storm pandas away. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's really fast with that. So meanwhile, Ducalis denied the haste rune, so Zumail couldn't really refill his bottle. That was uh, actually oh. really really crucial. All the runes that you give away to the opposing mid lane is going to give them a lot more opportunities to take control and seize control of the game. Smoke play here. A little bottle refill, noob. We'll see what we can find. There's only yeah. Kuro showing Kuro. in the lane. One leap. Only yeah. one leap, sir. And they get um, Arrow. Doesn't catch anything. Blast off from Fog of War. Into the stuns. Into the toss. Effective control. A good smoke play out from quest. I mean, you look at the, the wards. You know, both teams are... Really focusing on the same things, you know, the runes. Vision on the runes and rotation into the jungles. Like, literally similar wards. Yeah, actually, very true. This one as well. The ward watching top mid, and I mean, this one's just mirrored across the way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Kuroki dying is like not the biggest deal. He's gonna still be able to finish his level 6 somewhere. And meanwhile, his teammates... Uh... Yeah, I guess he just wants to go with the Pango right now. Ritu is bottle, he has roll. Won't need it for this one. Pretty easy kill. That'll get him closer now to the uh, Diffusal Blade, which is well on its way. Top tower seems to have gone down in favor of Nygma. They are losing their bot tier 1 tower for this. We'll see if Quest want to try and defend. But their team fight, unless they rotate the, the brew over, is not great right now. It's got to be, be said. Roll is kind of unstoppable for now. I mean, even in the later stages, what can stop it? Nothing. Mm, yeah, pretty much just a silence or something like that, right? And now Shamael will be invulnerable to that. He's bottled up the illusion rune, so he's got a mobile dispel, or a disposable dispel, I guess, would be more accurate. Mobile. Mobile dispel. Yeah, mobile doesn't really make much sense. It's always mobile. That's the whole point of them. <laughs> Malik finally gets through that tower. Mid lane is still going to continue to be defended now by Ducalos, who's making his way towards level 6. So he can get that static storm up as the arrow mm -hmm. takes down the wagon. Other I than that... happy. They are happy for now. They're getting a, a big part of the map. And I guess Quest is also kind of waiting, like you said, the Disruptor to get level 6 before they start to play around. But at the same time, I feel like because your Brewmaster is getting Radiance, right? So you're probably more than happy to sit and just try to break smokes and react to your opponents. I mean, the noob... It's not nice, you know, fighting with 2k in the bank on the Brewmaster. That's a good point. But Tiny doesn't really want to sit on this gold too much longer. He's got a fresh Blink Dagger Winter, so I suspect he's going to try and find a target to use it on. Miracle would be the best, but he's tucked away pretty far underneath the Tier 2 yeah. farm. They don't have any deep wards to, to find him, so it wouldn't be that easy you know, unless they're just trying to just scan and try to gamble with the smoke. They might just go on something mid here, Ducalis with level 3 glimpse. Uh, Matthew is a pretty easy target. Careful though, their own jungles are set to be invaded now as Sumail, who has Diffusal coming his way, is going to pop that illusion rune. New Link Dagger usage immediately onto Kuro. Kuro with the leap charges has still two more, but survives on 50 HP. The glimpse is going to kill him though. <laughs> Glimpse does damage, Sumail trying to get Noob into a good area as FBZ is going to stampede to continue the lockdown and the stun. There's going to be the damage and Diffusal delivered. However, they have caught one in the Static Storm, or it's like a defensive Static Storm actually. Omar canceling Matthew's TP, also catching Sumail. Nice Techie's mine down as there's going to be now the primal split. Matthew getting that kill onto Omar as Sumail is going to be a bit too slippery even for the Brulings to catch him. A two for two trade if I'm not mistaken, Winter. Yeah, good trade for Enigma and Galaxy. They got the tiny core. And they force out the Brewmaster split, so uh, that gives Miracle uh, a lot of room to play. So once he sees the Brew show split, he shows himself in the lane, he farms aggressively. It's what you should do as a carry player. Every time your teammate gives you information about the enemy, you have to farm uh, as aggressive as you can, as much as you can. Please. So the, the Swashbuckler actually does more damage right now. Yeah, so I think so, right? Because now... It does more, right? It feels like it does more damage. Well, the, the physical part, right? The physical aspect. Though. So now it's... uh. Well, I mean, we can calculate it before. Because what? This burns 40 mana, so it's 8... eight, eight, eight wait, okay. Hold on. I gotta get a calculator out. Yeah, because if you split the damage into 4 strikes, armor does more to it. It reduces it more. Since you make it 3 right now and give it more damage, so it does more damage initially. Okay, so maybe then Pango is actually still not that bad. 
Like he's stronger in the lane now. I don't know. I, th I still think missing this mana burn damage or the mana break damage like is still going to be. Stampede. It's still going to be impactful. But kill it's them. a trade, right? So they traded his mid game uh, or early mid game timing for a better laning pace. So he's yeah. a better laner right now. I guess you'd expect. Yeah, but it's going to feel worse later, isn't it? I mean, I guess you always yes. get more armor and magic resist anyway. I think it feels very bad in the. 10 to 15 or 10 to 20 points yeah that's true i mean a game. that's a good point so maybe his damage still feels similar i i will have to run some math and calculate it but i can't it should be more doing. right because it does more damage in i don't think so because you're missing a 40 damage that's quite a bit no 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 i mean initially without the diffuser well without the diffuser it does more sure okay malik we can discuss about it later with the calculator Ten seconds so. to split but the rest of his team's taking the gate top I don't know if he lives here, Winter. Has the Relic, oh, has another component. Arrow. Yeah, Arrow and now Rolling Thunder both committed here. They're going to oh, need to get the kill in. He's got one more second, but no chance to get off the ultimate. Okay. That was a little bit uh, scary, though. They didn't layer their stuns uh, as perfectly as they could. Nope. That's still enough to get the kill. Yeah, and you get Miracle involved into a kill as well, as he is going to go for... What, a Manta style, I assume, right? And he just queued up the uh, Dragon Lance first. He wants Dragon Lance to siege towers tower first. Attack. Okay. Interesting. I mean, sometimes you see players uh, get Dragon Lance first if they feel like they're having a really good game and the team is struggling to push down buildings and they feel like uh, they need the Terrible to get involved early, so Dragon Lance is good in those type of scenarios. Or sometimes you feel like you need the Dispel against uh, like a vessel or anything, you know, a Silence, so then you get the Manta faster. In this game, there's no really early Orchid, okay, right? So he's not really needing the Dispel. No. So he's buying an Orchid okay, I'd be shocked. I mean, and you know, a Dispel is not going to save you against the Silence of Static Storm. Only a BKB is going to help against that. It helps against the Ensnare or the Orchid from Naga later. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. The Orchid on Naga, of course. BZ is setting a trap here. There is a ward, however, that might scout him yeah he takes a step out of the trees he's gonna be scouted ducalis max glimpse here has easy reach and they're gonna commit uh the static storm for him here into the techies minds he goes and he will die matthew cannot tp in uh, for a save fast enough yeah he just needed to be actually patient and wait in the tower because the teammate his teammates are waiting for the pango to clear the wave and then move with a smoke you know they were literally like waiting for him and Santor just needed to be a bit more patient, you know, unfortunately he didn't. And now, 16 minute rune is going to cost his team the room, most likely. Dyer's we'll see. Top. Control uh, over the bottom rune still rests in uh, for Enigma. And that's where it'll spawn. So, Invis okay. rune into the bottle of four Sumail. He got most of the runes, I guess. Tiny only did. got one rune, right? Yeah, I think there were two denied as well. Yeah, the haste got denied. Mm -hmm. and this is a pretty good smoke play, though. Quest will manage to sneak around these heroes. And in the line of fire right now is Miracle. He has a mat style finished up. Ducalis' smoke is going to break. No static storm for 35 more seconds. So they're going to have to get this done with damage. He might shadow, but he's going to be trapped inside the kinetic field. Is that PZ trying to reinforce? But the Avatos damage, overwhelming miracle. No chance for the Sunder Sumail, though. Pouncing back now. Will at least take down Ducalis. Also showing up to this fight is Malik. Just shy of the money he needs, though, for the Radiance, but doesn't find an opportunity to pop the Primal. Yeah, I guess Terabit kind of, he was also maybe hesitating a bit to use the, the Manta earlier to dodge some of the spells and then in the end just couldn't, you know, got stunned, got control, didn't get the Manta, so couldn't Sunder. And now NGX decides they still want to go forward with the roll. Sumail has an Invis rune. Ooh. The ward plays up. I don't see a really good target though, Malik. He breaks smoke and the way he's positioning it, it seems like... I would have believed if I was Nigma there that there was a ward on that cliff. Obviously, they knew though there was a sentry. They want to start with a disrupt first. Not start with Sumail. Disrupt arrow and then Sumail rolls in. Yeah. Oh, and they will be able to reach him now. Noob ready to jump in for the save. In fact, preventing the arrow. The arrow's a bit late, and now Malik, he just gets off the split just like that. Sumail's already committed. It seems like Matthew, he's going to end up dropping to the Brulings. Kuro from the side, not really able to offer much. Now that the arrow's already out, as the Brulings finish off Matthew, Sumail. Well, this time, the glimpse. Bouncing around, won't be able to find much as the glimpse was mistimed. So Malik pops out yeah, nice he, and healthy. He tried to get him after the rule ended. But the just a little bit too early. FBZ is here. There's a dagger. Stampede soon. Eight seconds. They want to find a rebuttal. Miracle. Miracle's going to be scouted. Oh, okay. Nice Sunder there onto the Naga Illusions. Also, he's going to be scouted on no HP, but good use of the Sunder. Good use of this tiny Blink Dagger. I think it's, it's really paid yeah. off here. 
another rune into Sumail's bottle. Arcane, this one. He's really itching for a fight. Doesn't have a roll, but does have a BKB. Wow, he's actually so... He, he, he wants to take a fight and let's see what he can find. That's a nice stun this time. Better even disruption into the arrow with Sumail. Activates the BKB. Nice BKB. Omar jumping in, but from behind, Naive. He's ripping into these supports. Matthew's already down. Omar is going to go down thanks to the BKB of Sumail. Protecting him from the static storm. Oh, Song just in the nick of time. The stomp almost coming through there from FBZ. That should allow TA2000 to escape. As Quest no longer interested in continuing to fight. And you're going to have another roll soon. I mean, BKB, he used BKB in Arcane Rune, so it's also going to be a quick uh, cooldown for that. And with Song down, I feel like Enigma should just try to pressure and get an objective, or at least, you know, make a swoop. Swoop? He's thinking about it. He sees Sumail, though. Does he have enough damage, though? He has a cloak. I'm not sure if he has enough. I don't think so. Now I think it's too late. He's waiting for all the... Oh, he's guys. he's going to go for it. All right, oh, he's he got it. Enough. What do we know Holy about math? Crap. I thought the cloak would actually give him enough with the 30%. Okay, hey, he does, uh, he did a thousand damage there, Winter, so I think he had more than enough. I think he was, what, sitting at 800 HP? Yeah, he, he was just waiting for the toss to have a 100% toss rate on the center when all the creeps died. All right, well played, Noob. We are the real noobs here. Yeah. <laughs> Not noob. He did the math, and he sees Kuro as well. Kuro, who is going to get tossed in place into the blast off, nicely coordinated, however. Mail is here, has BKB, has roll, will kick this one off. No one in the vicinity though, it's just Matthew, so we might have to just settle for this kill onto Omar. Sumail finds the bounce he's looking for, finding the kill. Naive in the vicinity though, as Noob looking to turn, they have the Orchid finished up already. Sumail forced to BKB, as Naive will turn tail and run. Ducalis is nearby, he's going to get caught underneath this Observer Ward and stunned up as FPZ sent back by the glimpse with Sumail, still free to try and hit. However, he's been trapped now inside the, the Static Storm, the Sunder! Just reaching out now from Miracle, enabling Sumail to turn and finally get that kill he's been looking for. Gets Ducalis, takes down the techies. It's a bit of a costly engagement, but they do repel quests from the jungle. Yeah, Sumail is the carry right now, not Miracle. Miracle understands that. He knows that he's just uh, happy to keep Sumail alive and ensure that if they win the skirmish, then Terabit can actually keep farming. You know, so Miracle is just uh, happy to just uh, trade his HP for that. Now 21 minute wisdom rune, about to spawn. Sumel once again, you know, he wants everything. <laughs> <laughs> he's the king. I, it. I mean, this he's, he's been consistent ever since I started watching Dota. He was always, uh, shall we say, resource intensive as the mid laner. Okay, he's actually not picking up. He's giving it to Terabay. Okay, bro, you sunder me, you save me. I'll give you something in return. Have some Radiant's experience. What a lad. Noob, now hold on here. He's got an Amplify oh, no. Damager, and this could yeah, be a ton of trouble. damage. I, I, they've got him easy here. They need a Shadow Demon in position, but in fact, the Shadow Demon is going to be the one who gets initiated on. He is going to live thanks to the Glimmer Cape. Gives Sumail enough time to try and counter-initiate. They're fighting well here, but there's a ward up for Quest. Won't make a difference here for Ducalis as the stick charges. No. He will eventually fall. It's Matthew who stays alive, but that last toss will finally kill him off. Quest... This Primal Split has not been going so well. Now he has at least the Shard, so he's trying to escape on some of these Brulings. It's only the Storm Bruling left alive. He's going to be forced to try and escape now. That'll leave Noob left behind. Arrow. Oh, and the arrow he from Kuro. It finds him. Sumail already closing the gap. Malik's still quite fast and has 21 charges. Oh, he didn't get the stuff. FBZ leading them into the techies' minds now, but I don't think there's much Omar can do. Offers at least the mech heal as Naive. He got, he has Song. Doesn't really need it, though. We'll send the illusions after Kuro. It's not going to be enough damage to... Oh, my God. It is enough damage to kill him. <laughs> Tight, bro. Rip tight and a soul burn. Seriously. It was good read by Enigma, you know. Walking over to the Ancients and to do some wood. To make sure that the uh, terrible is safe there. And Miracle can also, maybe he was intentionally baiting them, and then they ran into Matthew, Dyer's and they decided to start the fight attack. on Matthew first there, so Miracle didn't die. Mm -hmm. He's just barely tanky enough, isn't he? Probably Gossamer's cape helping him there from the tiny amplified damage room auto attack. Obviously, the glimmer cape and the oh, wand. Yeah. The, the cape is actually really good against tiny. Yep. I like to get the cape against tiny um, TA, especially Ember Spirit. 
All those annoying, you know, physical right click spells that they can use from far range. Oh, FTZ goes down bottom, but it's going to give his space, his team rather the space for the shard, which is going to go to Matthew. You're probably happy with that. I see people actually yes. buying the bottom shard, but I still think the Shadow Demons is Dude, it's strong. I've been telling you it's strong. You don't believe me, like, eh. You're not slow, you know, by the slow, 30% slow. And in the additional charge is nice too, you know. Under and this, and this, underestimate that, you know, 170 damage. Smoke now here from Nygma. They will smoke without FPZ, but he's up in 10. Hot tower, tower is being shoved in hard. Seems like Omar attack. will cut this one off. Kipalas will leave him for dead. As the arrow this time does connect. Glimpse will not change godlike. much. Sumail is king. godlike. Indeed, 9-0 and 5. He's having a flawless game so far. As is Naive still. See, uh, I, I think only one of them is going to be able to make it to the end of the game with that streak. Or none. Well, Sumail has Aglims to continue his streak right now. And the Naga has uh, Arc. They're gonna both be really, really strong glimpse. It's just nice, uh, the rune. Very, very nice. Too it's annoying. A big, uh, a big rune for Pango. And now the Terra Blade continues farming. So the butterfly timings are gonna be very key here. So both of the carries are building butterfly. So once both of them get it, I guess uh, Naga is the one that's closer to a solution if he gets blood torn. Do mm -hmm. you think they have enough damage for this Naga heart though? That's that's gonna be my only concern through the yeah, butterfly. Yeah, that's true. It's it's difficult. Yeah, uh, illusion clear is not that great. I mean, Pango is kind of the only one that can clear the illusions quickly. Right. I mean, I guess you can make the argument that Shadow Demon can make copies of uh, yes. Naga illusions and turn it back on them. That's true. But that also won't be so effective when they have butterfly, right? I mean, it, it means that you I mean, sometimes you use the illusions to fight illusions. I want Malik top. Disruption. Oh, didn't last it too long because of the void. Wait, what? Was that the mini disruption? I thought disruption ignored status resist. Am I crazy? It must be crazy. Uh, I mean, Yules. Are you talking about Yules? <laughs> Yules ignores status well, I, I know, I know Yul, uh, lifts, so like Yules and Torrents and uh, that kind of stuff, but I, I'm, I must be crazy. Another solo kill on FBZ. I'm shocked he dies alone to, uh, to Naive. Point, he has 3.2k HP and he still dies on full. 12 armor too. Careful mid, careful mid. They make the jump already. It's just Kuro. Down he goes. Nice blast off time in there from Omar to snipe the kill. Mid lane. Oh, I thought Matthew was going to continue. That would have been a bold TP to complete. Yeah, I feel like the Santor, if he can't really survive alone, he can't really push out the dead lane anymore. So now he's going to try to force his BKB. Yeah, they'd love to do that. They have a lot of spells here ready to use. Noob's going to make the jump on in. Good disruption timing from Matthew. Miracle from the side as well. Yes, Butterfly in hand, ready to fight with. Can they get through the heart of TA2000, though? There they go. Enigma Galaxy still considering whether to take the fight. Miracle, though, did use the Metamorphosis. So Sumail's going to let them leave. Also started channeling up that Rolling Thunder. They'll force Roshan. Are they going to force Rosh with this? I mean, yeah. I think they can actually maybe do that. But they've been noticed. They, they've been picked up by this Observer Ward Winter. They should have seen they being... Uh, they have what? a lot of damage. Disruption, illusion. They for sure they have might, damage. They might be able to just do it without them arriving on time. Look at the rush. See how fast it is. He's going down fast. Kuro standing outside the pit. Arrow onto the target as the smoke now from Quest. Seems like it it's might be close. a little bit too late. And they're not really in position. They might have to take a fight outside of the pit. Naive still has himself the Song of the Siren as FBZ escaping. No, is going to be caught. That's bought enough time for Miracle at least to TP away as they even commit the Static Storm for him. Still trying to get through the gate. The toss will interrupt them. And he finally, finally, Finally will go down. Still trying to get through the gate till his last breath, though. Matthew somehow avoids the song. He's going to be able to TP wow. away, so it's only FBZ who dies. What a play there by Matthew, surviving. <laughs> I actually felt like he was going to be dead for sure, but somehow he finds a way. When there is a will, there is a way. So Nygma gets the Aegis, so they're going to be extremely happy just trading one center for it. Extremely worth it. But he just needs Radiant to wait for the next Metamorph to be ready. I've seen Sumail farm in here. I think the Naga's gonna get his butterfly as well. So both carries are gonna have their butterfly. It's gonna be very annoying. Small XP lead for the Naga Siren as well. We'll get to level 20 first. I uh, don't know if. Well, one mirror image is pretty good. He's actually so 
Oh, I hate off terribly in terms of XP. Yeah. I'm gonna start level 20. Normally, level 17. I'm surprised, right? Because normally what you what you see on these kinds of illusions heroes is they send the illusions to farm. Yeah. And imagine if uh, Sumail didn't give Miracle the Wisdom Rune. Right. US one. Well, now Miracle nor Sumail will pick up the Wisdom Rune as Quest will TP back to collect both. Mm -hmm. well, that'll only uh, exacerbate here this uh, XP lead that we see only between the Naga. Pretty close between everyone else. I mean, this warding, this vision is uh, insane right now for Quest to see so much in the top area. They're gonna be able to use this to just try to kite out the APs for the next three minutes. They're gonna they're gonna want to avoid fighting directly into Nigma until the APs expires. Probably he's gonna get BKB on Terrible. No? Right. Yeah. That's uh, so he's probably gonna want to make a play. Uh, in about a minute, when he finishes farming up, he only needs the Ogre Axe for that. What will he be fighting into? Almost an Octarine now, just the... What is it? Selimene's crown? Sorry, Tiara of Selimene. Uh, he almost has that ready to go, and that'll be full Octarine. Level 18 as well. Mm-hmm. For sure. Building into the Bloodthorn. 18 plus... You kind of want 18 plus level 20 talent on the Brewmaster. I mean, your, your speed is going to be easily killed by Terrorblade without the talent. It's gonna be a, a long one. Uh, both teams are gonna be buying for small little advantages. Mm -hmm. Trying to play the map, trying to go Radiant's for pickoffs, play, a, play for the item timings, and it's gonna be up to I feel like the small little details that's gonna decide the game right now. Runes maybe, better vision. Noob is also scaling really well, it should be said. He, he did manage to go for the Echo Saber. Uh, and then he's been just farming away after some good rotations, playing with his team very well for the first 25 yeah. minutes. And the Kanda as well, and on, when he gets that, it's going to be very strong yeah. on this hero. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got damage already and a fresh 9 second BKB as FBZ setting off mines. Let's let Quest oh. know something's afoot Can here. Okay. This invis naive though. He's just sent himself in with the real illusions. They're going to try and burst through FBZ. Here Disruption is going to save him just in the nick of time, but Miracle I end up getting caught out here, and in fact, they found him with the lift because they couldn't stop Malik from getting off the primal split. Sumail trapped onto the high ground here as well. Still as they're Aegis. on to now, Miracle still has ages for 90 seconds. But if they kill him here, he's not going to come split. back. He's just dying, but they're also killing the Brulings. Malik forced to pop out as there is another lift onto the Pangolier, keeping him out of the fight. Blast off incoming does find Miracle naive up onto the high ground now. The disruption, nice disruption. But it's only going to set up for the static storm. He's got the BKB though. Does not get off a great Sunder, and he's going to go down to tiny right clicks. No, he's still alive. 30 HP. Does manage to just barely live as the Naga Siren continue to chase after him. They must leave Sumail behind. Sumail though. is down. He's got like three ended. That's yeah, a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. 900 into the pockets of Noob is Matthew. He might not be out of this one quite yet. They're searching for vision so they can find a glimpse. Lumber Cape will make that slightly more difficult as well. The dust is going to catch him. And it seems like he is going to be the last casualty of this fight. It's Quest. Take a fight into the Aegis. Come out the victors. Yeah, finding the uh, initiation on the Sandfall, despite I feel like uh, the Shadow Demon kind of saved him already, but because they got jumped first, you know, and Sandfall, he was not able to fight. He lost too much HP. I felt like that was the, the key thing that differentiated the victors of the fight there. Getting the right jump, despite running into an Aegis. You know, Terrible can only do so much if your team is not in position to fight. Right. Who did he Sunder there? Am I crazy? Did he not get any uh, HP? He... No, he Sundered earlier. Uh, sun, I think he sundered the, one of the Naga, Naga illusions. Makes sense. That, that would make a lot of sense. He, did, he didn't want to lose his Aegis when he was Metamorph. Right. Because he didn't want to lose his form. Yeah, I mean... So he sundered, he tried to keep the fight going. But unfortunately, it was just not enough, you know, in the end. Well, this next fight's going to be more troublesome, Winter, because that is now Bloodthorn finished up. Uh, so yeah. he's got to be... have a solution they do. for the evasion. They do, but you also have a solution for the solution, the counter solution, and that's Matthew's Demonic Cleanse, right? So not only do you have Manta, you still have Demonic Cleanse. Uh, so something to try and consider. That Bloodthorn placement yeah, is crucial. He's going to be a he's number one target for Team Quest right now in the team fights. You need to try to burst him. I guess the the Tiny is the main person that has to try to find the Shadow Demon and kill him. One of the Illusions getting to work on the Tier 2 Tower now. We'll go down quickly with the back door disabled. Quest pushing a 5k net worth lead. Winter, it looks like they might want to... Okay, they're just going to start sieging. Nothing too formal yet, but at least throwing the illusions up there. You can see they really don't deal with these things too well. 
That's what Sumel's job is for. He's gonna... Okay, so this is where I, I'm thinking... This is where the pango changes start to hurt. At this at this point, you're not really, you're not really too overwhelmed, or you're not really too overjoyed with the extra little bit of damage that you do have with Swashbuckle. Yes, it's a little bit more, which is nicer earlier, but now it's less damage on each defusal. You're burning less mana per each hit, which I think is kind of a big deal, and you're not quote unquote guaranteed a basher proc anymore, right? So those are those are pretty significant. They have to guarantee themselves an initiation. I mean, so far, the last couple of fights, uh, Quest has Ooh. been getting the first move every time. They're trying to bait the illusion here. The Conda. Oh, the oh, Conda's no. finished! He took the bait! FPZ. He took the bait! He's on the line, but he's going to get bailed out here by his allies. That's the cleanse used on him, though, so they won't have that for the rest of the fight as Sumail is just setting off the mines. They still have cleanse. He's going to have to get back. Oh, but do they get him in time? No. Nice job on the roll up there, so he does not get glimpsed back. But Quest, they haven't really expended anything at all. Enigma. They've gotten it all wrong. It's back to the drawing board for them. I mean, they only use roll, right? They didn't really use any big ultimates. I guess Moonlight Shadow. They, if, oh, yeah. I guess you have charges of cleanse now with the Ag Scepter. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. I thought he only had one. Okay, you're right. You're right. Just the roll. Just the roll. Kuroki definitely also wants to get his uh, Intel Evasion on the Moonlight Shadow. Very, very useful in a team fight too. If you don't have any true strike uh, items, you're gonna <laughs> run into a lot of problems. Butterfly plus Moonlight Shadow Evasion. Mm. Miracle is not, by the way, built in MKB. Oh, they're gonna anything. split? They're gonna commit? Oh, they are just gonna go in. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a Daedalus, but there is not. Uh, actually, there is not a Daedalus even on the team. Oh, it's an Arcane Rune split. Oh, it's gonna be a low cooldown. Yeah, with Octarine as well. There's a lift on to the Pango. This uh, Earth Panda, the Earth Ruling. Centaur. Just they found the Centaur. They did find the Force Centaur. Beat. FPZ just trying to farm up a Shiva's Force to BKB. They might have just killed him through the physical damage. Nice stun onto Noob. That should prevent at least any follow up. Sumail committing the Rolling Thunder now, looking for Ducalis. Inhibits him now with the Diffusal Blade as the Illusions manage to get through the Tier 3 tower. Another split's ready in 30 He's seconds. Stuck. Pango stuck on the low ground, but a nice blink up by Sumail. Gets him up to the high ground safely. Noob making the jump. The roll up's not in time, and they've tossed him down to the low ground, but he still has the BKB. The Swashbuckle up to the high ground safe for now. But the base. Being invaded here by Quest quite persistently. Everybody's still not coming back. He feels like he he wants to get his level 20 before he comes back. Yes, he's, he's, going he's gonna have Daedalus. Now he has Daedalus, but still no bespoke solution to the evasion. They, they still have Naga Siren butterfly problems, don't they? Am I crazy? Yeah, these illusions, they're also because of the kill. You're gonna need day guns at some point. Another split. The arrow. Get the Rex. Yeah, the split is gonna be on for the Rex. Bot lane is just going down to the Naga Illusions. They have Glyph, Richie. They do, but there's also a lift onto the TV proper as Glyph? he shows for the first Glyph? time in the fight. Glyph okay. not going to be used quite yet. They're still they holding on to Glyph? it. Both lanes going down now as there's another lift onto the TB And Quest, they're just going to leave. They're just peacing out. Throwing Thunder back off cooldown. There's still a tier 2 top, so Quest aren't going to be able to get the Megos, but they will be able to set up for this next Roach. All right, that was very, very strange not using the Glyph. I mean, I can get not taking a team fight, right? You feel like Pango with no roll and with BKB on cooldown, you're missing a huge chunk of your team fight. Santa also doesn't have his BKB ready. That was just very strange. You know? They didn't even do anything. You know? They didn't even use the glyph, didn't do anything. They just gave up the Rex, and they definitely have to do something right now with the smoke. Well, Roche is up. Quest immediately alerted to that by the techies mind, so that distraction might just go their way, but FBZ setting off more mines. We'll see how attentive uh, Quest are, and if they... Yes, they have noticed it. I've seen the pings on the mini-map now, but Sumail leading them in. Level 20 for him. He's taking the swashbuckle damage. Plus 10 second conjure image duration, but Quest... Not in, they're not really straight into the pit, so Nigma, they've got to go deeper here to try and find where they're at. But Creeps are about to go into the base, Winter. This is going to be a big fight as Sumail, Moonlight shadowed up. He's going to try and get stun. the initiation, but the stun, not in time there. They're still on to Ducalis. He's still alive, finally taken down by the right clicks of Miracle. Sumail trying to at least stop one. We have a Song of the Siren. We have a Primal Split. We haven't used either yet. There's a Refresher that just got delivered as well for the Primal Beast. That's going to be split number one as Miracle BK beat up. He's a bit isolated, fighting by himself. Miracle, the mechanism in trouble. To heal, but Miracle in with the toss, the explosion for the blast off. He gets off the thunder just in the nick of time, and Omar instead he's going to be the one that goes down. He's got five back into the fight immediately as Miracle standing his ground, continuing to fight. They have the lift onto Sumail. The Conda damage is insane as well, out from the tree volley. But Noob doing what he can. Miracle. The avalanche is pretty good. Miracle's going to go down. Noob throws Sumail on top of him. The King has flattened Miracle, and Matthew is left 
to do almost nothing. FBZ at least able to trade down new, but it's Naive who finally cleans up. A three for three trade. There was a buyback out from the techies. Uh, oh, and Kuro died as well towards the tail end of it. I didn't see him run to the corner. But In big three for Crest, I guess. They're going to pick up the scores of Wally in the name of the Roshan here. And that was such a crazy fight, you know. Dude. I thought Terrible was going to go down <laughs> very, very early in the fight, and somehow he gets the Sunder off with the Manta, and the fight just keeps going on. But eventually they wear him down, they use all the abilities to kite him around, and he just went down to the chip damage from the spells that he was in there. Yeah, man. There's two splits in that fight as well, so even though he did a pretty good job of focusing down the illusions, I don't know if he saw the refresher. It got delivered right before he split, basically, so, you know, I can't blame him if he didn't necessarily see the refresher, and then as soon as the first split ended, he just re-split yeah, again. I don't feel like the refresher probably would have changed his mind, because he wanted to commit anyway, like, if they killed them with the initial initiation. I think the refresher might not have mattered. But what would matter next is the Aghanims on Lucari. You know, somehow manages to scrape together enough gold Ooh. for Aghanims. This hero with the Naga Song setup, this is instant gift <laughs> right. setup. That's going to be problematic here as another shard for the side. Now he's got shard. What is this? this is this still the crappy Thunderstrike one? Uh, yeah. This is the most useless shard. Yeah, this one's pretty <laughs> bad. It was a lot better when it, you could just area cast it and then it would just give attack speed, but now it's. I guess they thought that was too strong. They did find a lift onto the yeah, Pango now. BZ from the side. The they're just taking this thing down. Naive. He's got a song of the sirens. Also got an Aegis for four Aghanim's more delivered. minutes. The axe has been delivered now, so careful for this song setup. Ducal is keeping his distance. Song? But they're just destroying they're these buildings. Up. Nigma, they have a fortified, but Winter, I think they're saving it for next game. I don't know. They haven't fortified for any of these barracks. And backdoor is broken. FBZ, he lands the stump, but another lift onto the Shadow Demon is going to prevent any kind of setup. There's going to be the song. In comes Dukalis. Check comes this disruptor. out. Who is he going to be able to find? Disruptor looking for it. Will now pop it. He's forced to do it early because Sumail is going to at least be able to sideline him. Takes him out of the fight for now. So it's not the best static storm, but it's stopped FBZ Rax from doing much. Down. The Rax. Finally, the glyph is going to be used. Ducalis is going to be killed. Couldn't get on the other side of that Defender Escape, but they found a lift onto Miracle. The glyph is going to end, and Naive. Plus, Malik have managed to get through the barracks. That is going to be the Megas now coming on in as the Void Miracle, Panda throwing doing? Miracle into the midst of things. Noob jumping on in, getting interrupted by <laughs> Sumail, but there's just nothing they can do. There's too much damage for Miracle. Sumail BKBs to run away, but this one, especially without a buyback on the TB Winter, I think it's over. Kuro's going to call it. 1 0 lead now for PSG Quest. I mean, with the Butterfly Naga, plus the Radiance, and it's just so much uh, evasion, you know, and on top of it, with the Tiny and this Instructor just creating so many pick-off opportunities for their team to enable them to win the fights. And just, unfortunately, on Migma Galaxy side, there's a couple of very, very key deaths on FBZ, you know. Sad to say that, but he kind of made the game really difficult for his team when he was, like, pushing, I think it was top one time or top twice and then the bottom lane as well one time you know he died like two or three times in a row consecutively when Sumil he was really strong and he was waiting for his teammates to come smoke him and pick up runes but before that could happen the centaur kind of died on the side lane you know like he just needed to be more patient and wait for the waves to come to his power so he can actually push it out or farm it at least clear it in a very safe area instead of like trying to be posturing too far up the lane you know and just costing his team dearly yeah, yeah, painful there for them, unfortunately. But that is going to kind of be how game one breaks down. Um, you know, starting to see a couple more games. Pardon me, on this new patch, starting to see the strength of Disruptor, you know, kind of being reminded by that as well. Uh, but a, a close match, right, at least for both these two teams. I think a couple things go differently. Winter and Enigma is right back in that game. We'll see if they can get those things going their way uh, as we are going to be going to a very quick break. But when we come back, folks, we're going to have game two of the Mina closed qualifiers for Dream League Season 23. It's the PSG Quest side, however, who lead 1-0 over Enigma at the break. We'll catch you guys soon.
of shitting on them. Hello, and we're back. Winter doesn't know five seconds. It's okay, Winter. Don't you worry. Nobody heard anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't count. No, it's fine. Counting to five is, is pretty hard. It is pretty hard, folks. But thank you for staying with us uh, a little bit of a longer break there. We were afraid that PSG Quest was not going to be joining in time but everything is here and we're about to get started with our second draft here of our bo3 series not an elimination match winter this is still in the upper bracket and well nigma are no strangers to losing game ones even today they they uh versus fun gamers they were also uh surprised uh to lose the first game and then quickly struck back in games two and three so we'll see what we have ahead of us here Warm up game. That's what we like to call it. Absolutely. Where we are from. Absolutely. Ah, we just we lose the game, you know. Everybody's like, it's okay, guys. The coach comes in. It's okay. Just warm up, you know. Just warm up. Uh, don't worry about it. You know, it's my fault. You know, I I didn't serve the coffee early. Everybody everybody didn't get their, you know, their shot of caffeine in the morning. That's that's on me. You know, that's when the coach comes in and takes the blame, and re-energizes the team. Everybody forgets about the loss, and we're good to go for the second game. Yeah, I mean that's what it's gonna really have to be here, isn't it? Um, tough loss, right? There, there were uh, we outlined a number of things that certainly could have gone uh, better, but I, I think really the crux of it does boil down to sure. I mean, you, you could single it down to a few mistakes, but but ultimately just not really being synced up, not really on the same page, right? Someone farming a wave too far when the team was gonna smoke and sweep, right? Uh, stuff like that ends up being really debilitating to, especially someone like a Pangolier's game. Yeah, it's a small little detail, but at the highest level, the small little things matter a lot. You make a mistake like this, your team you know, loses control of Roshan. I think there was one death that resulted in the enemy getting Roshan. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Things like this just slowly but surely add up in the game and just make it harder and harder for a team to take a fight. Yeah, man. So you have to try to iron all the small little issues out, and hopefully in the next game, and uh, just bring bring a better, uh, bring a better teamwork, you know, into the next game to be able to try to force them into a game three. Game three is going to be the goal for them and for us because we want to watch more good Dota. And uh, fortunately, we don't have much of a wait, folks. Our second draft about to get started. Thanks for tuning in. So you can try Winter on the call with you here. Any predictions, Winter? Do you think we're going to see any changes to draft, any changes to strategy, any particular mm -hmm. heroes banned out? Maybe the Naga. I think Naga could be a possible ban. Because Kuroki, have he has selected to be on the first pick side. So he gets to dictate the way the draft is going to begin. So maybe he has some room to ban out one of uh, one, one ban to ban out the Naga. I feel like that would be a reasonable way to start things off here for Nigma. I mean, the Naga is definitely like a problem, you know, in that game. They couldn't really deal with the waves uh, being constantly shoved to them. And then Centaur died a couple of times, pushing out the waves. And they sort of got an advantage in the game because of killing the Centaur when he was pushing out the waves. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Well, we'll see what they do decide to ban Winter because our draft has just started. Let's go ahead and jump right in and uh, see what we are going to have for our bans. Uh, still very early here, so we're going to get the Ridiculous Heroes banned out and removed. But uh, again, with first pick, you are afforded that uh, uh, the fourth ban, aren't you, right? Yeah, they get the four bans. Yes, indeed. They have four bans. Do they? Wait. No, sorry. Quest, Quest have four bands. I'm crazy. The second pick team has four bands. I got, I got really confused. The first pick team has the final band in the right. first phase into Ten the first pick. Remaining. So they have the eighth band. Actually, seventh band. Sorry. Seventh Five band into the eighth pick. Right, okay. right, right, right. Nope, makes sense. Makes sense, boss. Yep. I'm sure you have to leave me a tip at the end of the meal. Sorry, I don't tip. This is Malaysia. You don't tip here. It's rude. It's rude to tip here. I don't know. That's what someone told me. Let's not get into Ten it now. Either way, remaining. not going to tip winter. No need to discuss it. Uh, this Timber song. Uh, still, uh, still a lot of offlaners being banned out. Um, what is it about offlaners being so heavily targeted? Is it, is it more that there are so many good ones that they need to go? They're so or they're so OP. Or is it more that there are so many bad ones? Or sorry, so few good ones, so that when you target them, especially in the first phase, they feel very effective. Hmm, 
I don't even think there's like two Ten later. There's remaining. a couple that's really good. Every body kind of got nerfed, you know. So I'm I don't really Five see remaining. Uh, if it's an issue of being too few heroes being too good or too many heroes being too good and you're trying to narrow the pool. Because I feel like if you're in the second pick phase, you shouldn't narrow the pool. Because if you narrow it too much, then the enemy can just use the last band to maybe create a scenario where they are getting one and you're getting none. Right. So you want to keep enough heroes in the pool if you're on the second pick side. I feel like they're just banning because the heroes are strong, very hard to deal with. And they feel like even if you give them a DK or a Timber, there's no like good trade for you. So maybe. I mean, Konka is definitely feeling like a, a very strong hero right now. After all the other premier offlaners got nerfed, and Konka kind of got a small little nerf, not a big deal. And he's like a, a flex pick, remaining. so it gives you a lot of uh, value in terms of opening the draft with a hero Five like this. Seconds remaining. You know what I mean? And, and I, I always like to open, like, a, if I can, when I see a tiny, I like to respond with a team fight hero. Because tiny's playstyle is like, He's trying to split the map and pick heroes off, right? So you need to give the draft some basic team fight so that you can try to group together around something and avoid the tiny picking off heroes. Nothing quite like a little bit of a torrent storm to make tiny's initiating and his in and out sort of a style Dying to. Uh... Team yeah, it's very hard to go in and go out against Kanka because of X map. I mean, that's why you have to get the. Windmaker, right? Like when a lot of uh, mass players nowadays they initiate and they have the Windmaker to just reposition and get out. I mean, Tiny, I guess you don't really <laughs> want to get that item. Everybody wants to buy Kanda now. Remaining. Yeah, at least not on a core support. It's a little bit more acceptable, but uh, we'll Five see. My support remaining. yesterday or the day before, they bought a core saber and, and they were they were trying to be a core, you know. <laughs> well, sometimes I mean you can't really blame them. You see all these. See all these TVs and whatnot trying to do the same, basically. Okay, Kunkuk. No, TVs, they buy team items, you know, they just play the carry hero as a support, but they actually buy team items. Except for that what Boboka game where he was actually trying to be a carry. He bought Butterfly. <laughs> remember that one game he actually, he bought, I don't remember what. He bought Defusal. Other items he Defusal and, and then he was going for Shadow Blade or something. He got, he got a Scotty. He didn't, he didn't get the farm for that, brother. Come on, they lost that game in like 27 minutes. No, dude, that, that was a long game. It was like a 60-minute game, and you get so many I items. must be thinking of a different Boboka game than my apologies. My apologies. Either way. Either way. I would accept your apology and expect a tip in return. Nope, no tip for you. Your tip is to uh, stop playing only Crystal Maiden. Thank you very much. Hey, I play... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't answer that. You should you should plead the fifth at this point. Uh, a nice duo though. This Kunkka and Marana is the point I wanted to make. Winter. It's got good synergy. X into arrow. A good team fight. Map mobility. Right with the moonlight shadow. Able to sweep across the map. A uh, very powerful utility here. And that is a support gyro. I want to say it's a support gyro. I want to say. Remaining. Five seconds. You think it's a support remaining. gyro? I think so. I mean, Konka is pretty good against Gyro Core. Because the boat buff, right? The realm. Uh, yeah. When Gyro goes into the team fight, you want to burst with the spells and your flat cannon. And Konka boat is actually very good to stop you from doing what you're doing. You want to do in the team fight. Turn to... I don't know if Gyro got adjusted by the patch. Let me, let me look into I mean, that. I'm just waiting for Sven to be a support again. Oh. Isn't there like some team that runs Sven support? It was Katami, right? Yeah, it was Entity. It used to be Entity, I'm pretty sure. They were really famous. They did it in Lima, if I'm not mistaken. It was uh, the shards fan just grouping up with with Vlad's just dev dev balling and pushing Five your towers. Pretty sure it was Vlad's and was there still? Did we have Wraith Pact in Lima? I don't remember. No, no? Wraith Pact was already removed. Wow, Crazy. I mean, he was there, but he got nerfed. I mean, ah, he okay, <laughs> he got nerfed. Right, a lot. Uh, Sven's armor reduced by one. Okay, I don't know if that's the biggest thing in the world. One armor can make or break. Yeah, ju game. just like the 20 damage really made a big difference to if Centaur you, last game, huh? Imagine if you give uh, Crystal Maiden one extra armor. Imagine that, you know, Richie. One extra armor on the Maiden. Literally unkillable. Literally unkillable. What can we do against her? As uh, we are still in the second phase, so Quest have two back-to-back -back picks here. Got last pick, so I wonder... Support and carry, I think. Yeah. You 
want to keep the concave flex or you feel like the span is already shown, right? So you want to instantly decide whether you want to put concave off lane or concave mid. And you straight, uh, you pick your mid slash off lanes and one support and you keep the carry open because you don't know the off lane hero yet. Some players would think like that, but I, I feel like uh, both uh, both options has their has their merits and pros and cons, you know. So I feel like uh, keeping the concave flex and picking the carry gives the whole draft a lot more fluid, fluid so you can change and adapt accordingly. Okay. Well, let's start with the support then, right? We're we're gonna see a support here almost certainly. Undying. Oh, undying span. Jk. Um. Against Sven, there's always like all this Shell Demon Bane that can be annoying. Okay, my favorite <laughs> hero right now. Very slow maiden. So, yep, they indeed they go with the carry and they keep the Conquer Flex. So, the draft is a lot more fluid here. So, able to change and adapt at will. And what is Nigma gonna do here? I guess they're gonna decide the off lane most likely. You see the lane. It's gonna be Morphling plus CM. So what do you do against Morphling and CM? Do you keep the Tiny on the off lane or do you move Tiny to a 4 and pick another off lane? Now what is Nygma going to do here? There is Doom. Doom which is a good carry. I mean a good counter against Morphling carry. Doom, mm. Doom seems really good. But then you, you probably either have a Tiny mid or a, a dual off lane. Sorry, a dual melee off lane is what I meant to say, which can be problematic. I mean, if they want Tiny to be a core, then you need a 4 that has stuns and catch to kill the morphing like Lion. Or Shadow Shaman, something like that. Ooh, a Shaman. Yeah. Because those other heroes don't have instant disable to kill morphing. Right, right, I see that. Okay, so those are with the puck. The king picks his hero. Okay, so they put the win condition. And they prioritize the mid hero more than the off lane here. The thing I'm worried about is because there's not many offlaners remaining, right? Because all the bands were kind of dedicated to the offlane. So Nygma might get into a situation where they feel like they don't have a good option. I mean, I guess they are. They also think that even if we pick the Doom, the Doom kind of is not the overall last pick and then he might not win us the game. So it's probably more important for them to secure the mid pick, which also is kind of important for their lineup. What do you foresee I mean, it depends here? on the players. Right. Depend really depends on the players who is who has more priority in the team. You know, and obviously, Sumail he is the king. You know, FBZ has to bow down and he has to yield. He has to give way, make way for the king. <laughs> Don't we all? Ten <laughs> seconds remaining. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm talking to my cat. Oh. Okay, there we go. Five so what do we expect? We see, we should see a doom ban. Esports. Uh, oh, ban Omni. Okay, interesting. Omni Sven, I guess. Right, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think there's Brewmaster and Doom, but I think Doom is probably better. Um, there is still, I mean, Tide is terrible. Isn't that PZ like a really good brew though? Am I crazy? Ten Remember when he was in C? Remaining. Wait, who was he on? Yeah, I mean, he he plays the hero a lot. Five seconds remaining. I mean, there's also all this like Razor, Viper, anti carry hero. Yeah, that goes to Doom. Yeah, I don't see any heroes anymore because they left it so late. Looking for an It's hard though. You, there, you can pick like some Night Stalker, but your lane is going to be terrible. That hero needs a good lane to play. Ten seconds remaining. It's hard, you know. I think it needs to be some Razor, Viper, anti carry hero. Five seconds right, remaining. Let me see. Let me see what I can try and cook up. Oh, oh there's still Centaur there's, actually. There's still Dying a Centaur. Team. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, so Centaur or Brew strike me as some pretty decent heroes here. Stable one. Yeah. yeah, but do you want to play the same hero again? That's the question. Quest or do you want to play something different? That is different. Oh my god. I mean, this is, is like terrible in this lane. Why? CM morphing. Why? He won't be able to play this lane. There's too much magic damage. Mm. He's going to feed. And his support is tiny. Double melee against CM. Dude, this lane is so difficult. Ten seconds. Right, I feel like it's a it's it's a very hard lane, and this is the issue, right? Five At the 18th pick, remaining. if they don't pick the off lane, they don't have any good picks remaining. You know, sure, you know, there's a Santo and whatnot, but those are not the good pick in this type of situation. You know, Doom was like the optimal one. Yep. And now because you decided to pick the mid, you don't have uh, optimal pick for off lane. And the Void Spirit is kind of like a counter pick to the puck yeah. because of the silence, the instant silence. So now you're gonna have counters to all your heroes. 
That's, that's why I feel like the draft pick order is so ex- important and so crucial. Every one small little detail that you miss or you prioritize something else, it will lead to the game being totally different. And right now, I feel like Nigma is stuck in a pickle where their heroes are kind of countered, their mid lane is countered, off laner not going to have a good lane. So a lot of weight is going to be on the carry spend. You know, Miracle, Miracle is going to have to put his team on his shoulder. His lane is going to be good. I think Gyro plus Suvan against uh, Mirana Konka most likely going to be able to get some good farm, maybe even kills in this lane if they play it correctly. But the other two lanes are going to have... Uh, I guess Sumail won't lose his lane, but he's kind of going to get countered in the game later with the Agadence of the Void Spirit. And Tide is definitely going to lose his lane. Okay. Well, I, I want to talk more about that that Maiden Marana... Sorry, that what is the Maiden Morphling lane a little bit more. Um, but talk to me a little bit about what's good. Like, why do you think Nigma picked the Tide Hunter? I know, I know, we we don't like you don't like the pick, and you've you've explained your reasons, and I'm sure we'll see it in the laning stage. But I'm- it's good with their lineup because they needed a frontline tank with team fight presence. Because if you look at their overall composition, right, Sven not exactly the biggest team fighter until you have the uh, your Superman and your Aghanims and you can burst people BKB. And Park kind of needs someone else to stand in front so that you can come in at the right time to cut off the enemy backlines or to cut off reinforcements so they needed something to stand in front to be the bait and Tide Hunter uh, it perfectly fits uh, the whole draft with this type of uh, setup I'm just feeling that Tide Hunter Prepare is not a hero battle. where he can kind of lose his lane or uh, go like behind a little bit and try to catch up I don't think Tide is that type of hero Tide needs to do well in the lane for this hero to function mm-hmm. And you, you think this game is just... Well, it, well, we'll start to see their troubles, right? I'm sure we'll be able to talk about it quite a bit. Both mid laners play Slow Rune, by the way, on the Radiant High Ground. Neither smoke breaks. Oh, some action. Oh, Maiden. Oh, no. In the trees. No Body Nova. block. Will not be yeah. able to save Ducalis here. Not versus this many heroes. Yeah. If he didn't skill his bite, maybe if he had Nova. Maybe, maybe he could have lived. Maybe. And King Kuro has first blood. Wait, what? He took the first blood? He he secured it. That's right. I guess they I guess they needed to kill him before he reached the tower. I don't know what you mean. Kuro earned that kill. He did all the damage. Kuro earned that kill. Yeah, man. If your captain says he wants the kill, you give it to him. Gyro, I think he, he either got him with a rocket barrage or uh, an auto attack. So, you know. Um, Or maybe blood grenade damage. Nope, it, it wasn't blood ball. grenade damage. Okay, I trust you. Alright, runes. Oh, they didn't throw a blood grenade at him. They didn't need it. It's a maiden. The battle begins. <laughs> hey, respect that maiden. You know, maiden is a strong hero now. Respect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know the hero has one of the lowest wolf speed, one of the lowest starting armor, one of the lowest starting HP in the game, but she can freeze you in your spot permanently, you know, with the shard. Yeah, that's true. Respect. It's a gr- she needs. She deserves some respect for that. It's a great farming right shard. We'll see the lane here. So having frostbite means that even though you can't really bully the double melee, but the benefit of getting frostbite at level one is you control the wave. You don't push the wave up compared to Nova. So we'll see whether it actually ends up uh, paying out, uh, paying off for them. FBZ right now. At level one, it's uh, it's still fine, you know, because morphing doesn't really push you out of lane level 1 is when you get to level 3 on Morphing all the magic damage ramps up top lane seems pretty freaking good though honestly Malik is gonna take no he's gonna be fine There's very fast in this gyro hero though so gotta be a bit careful okay now let's let's talk about down bottom right I, I wanted to look mid um, uh, it was a good start there by Noob he did get deny the first range creep against Sumail so uh, that's a good start there top lane we can see it's got a lot of kill potential but talk- all the lanes are fun yeah, you know, Richie. That's All true. The lanes are actually, that's, that's very true. There they go again, top lane. By the way, Ooh, Warcry taken already. Okay. Blood grenade forced out. That'll slow them. They still rocket have barrage. a rocket barrage, but there's too many units around now, so they can't really turn. Malik would love to get level two here. Oh man, he's gonna struggle. I've already used the healing pot up here as well on Omar. Yep, Kuro is level two. Sven is level two. Are they gonna try to make a play here? Oh, no mana on stun. Yeah. So. <laughs> How about bot lane? Uh, things uh, getting the wave under his tower. Maiden is running over to body block the camp, but he's he's Maiden, so you're always gonna have a chance to die. Tide is coming over. I think he she might be dead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. 
Oh boy. <laughs> well, right, at least the t at least her TP is not on cooldown. I mean, that's why I whenever I play against lanes that can kill me, even though it's double melee, right? I, you have to respect it. They have stun and dash, so it's better to use sentries to block the camp instead of your body. So is it now a kill onto King Kuro. Yeah, yeah, they just get him top lane. Eventually they whittle him down. Kuro went really hard early, didn't have a lot of regen left, and oh my, he's going to be returning to lane. Full HP and mana. And my question for you is, how does that one death, does it tip the scale down bottom against this Morphling lane? Are you a little bit more confident they'll be able to see through this lane? Not so disastrously? It definitely is going to be very helpful for the Titan, you know, getting his levels faster. Because yeah, you, like, sentenced this lane to death. Like, you saw the pick and you're like, it's Jovi. Yeah, but then a lot of things went differently, right? They had first blood, she didn't... She has a uh, force bite, so it's not so good against a uh, double melee, in my opinion. And she died, you know, she didn't use sentry to block the medium camp, and she died when she was body blocking the camp. I would... Uh, I think it's a very dangerous thing to try and body block camps when you're playing is tiny. I think FPC is gonna farm this as well. Yeah, no, this is, this is tough, you know. There's the double stack, I mean, this is perfect for FPC. Double bracer online. Ouch. Yeah, he's very, very happy. His lane is going super duper well. Matthew secures the first Lotus as well with ease. I mean, Naive's farming okay, but FBZ is farming better. We'll see how that looks and uh, continues to play out. As you can you should start to change when the Morphling gets uh, more levels. Like right now, you have your level 2 adaptive. I expect Kuro to want to make a move here when he is up to level 3. But, yeah. No, to Kuro up top lane. His miracle is also up to oh. level three. Kuro, you have to deny your deny your sentry so you trigger trigger your flash. A flat cannon. Yeah. <laughs> that still works, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, that was a thing when you were defending higher ground with gyro as your as your call. Yeah. <laughs> Just place the sentry. Oh no! I missed the solo kill. Sumail dives beyond the tower, gets the kick off there. Ah, noob even's got to put some respect on that. Just chased him down. And it's a perfect timing as well. Both bottle rune refills for Sumail. And it seems like he was trying to force the wave to shove under tower. Doesn't really have that timing perfectly, unfortunately, for him. Matthew might have a toss back here, but he's probably a bit too far now. Yeah, Sumail so definitely outplaying his uh, adversary here. Sumail so thinks, you know, the king is with the flashy plays as usual. Yeah, it's heated up now. He's, he's all warmed up, ready to go. It's going to be a very entertaining game for sure. Just judging by the lineups in the hero lineups, both teams have very uh, significant, uh, have a very different plan. Hero. Hero. Let's catch Kuro here. They're going to give him the bonus armor. The right clicks might just be enough to take him down, though. It seems like they will. Now they're getting a kill there. And that's the danger of this lane with the Kunkka and Potom. But down bottom, yet again, another death for Ducalis. Naive. Got one point in the ship, but he's already waveform. He's fine. He's fine. It's a morphine. Yeah, both of the supports are not having a good time. Both position fives, Tukalis and uh, Kuro just uh, dying in the lane repeatedly. But like I said, five minutes is probably the best time for a support to die. That's right. If you feel a mid bottle, then you control the six minute rune. So it's the most natural move you can make. Yep, noob just chugging on the damn thing. Might as well. And then you come early, you devote. Very, very important. You TP in, refill bottle, devot, control rune. Oh, Kuro's already on the high ground here. Wards in hand. You can see the other supports beginning to rotate over now as we approach that first power rune timing. They have the sentry, but they didn't actually oh, find there. the ward. And Kuro, he's going to end up getting caught here. The arrow is going to hold him down. They have the kill. Sumail has a coil here. Omar's going to scout the power rune, but in trouble is going to be Noob. He has to stand close to the creep so it doesn't get tossed away. Oh, unlucky oh, no. there. 50 50 chance for Matthew. Rolled. Unfortunately, Noob, even without level 6, he will survive just barely through that. Yeah, that was actually a pretty bad mistake by Kuro there. Like, he knew that there was an observable ward, right? The sentry saw the ward, and then he was still trying to be so aggressive. I don't know if he saw to... it. I just can't imagine he would have stood like that. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Because I, I think the puck was maybe a little bit out of range. Right. Yeah, maybe you're right. They didn't have vision. I, I reckon so. Kuro came from top, walked here, put the sentry from the high ground, and then they just didn't have the vision. That's... Yeah, maybe because I, I felt like the puck maybe would have given. Yeah, actually, maybe they didn't see it. Right. Otherwise, he would have been a little bit more careful there. Right. Just uh, resulting in them losing the rune, Invis rune, uh, towards the Mirana, mm -hmm. now Wisdom rune. 
probably just gonna be one apiece. At the very least, it's not a it's not a refill for uh, Noob. He's gonna still gonna have to run back home and refill. Um, yeah, that's true. But, that is true. But um, you know, it could have been way better, right? Sumail getting a solo kill. They steal the rune. They even potentially kill him. Yeah. And oh man. Because if you look at the heroes, I feel like the Gyro and Tiny with the Puck, the trio, they are stronger. They're stronger than the, the Maiden. Oh, Omar didn't, the voice I didn't see this ward. So unlucky for him. Mm -hmm. Nope. Going in. Probably just wants to do some damage. Nope. Sumail was coil, so Rest. doesn't want to be too crazy here. But he's finally up to level 6. I do wonder, maybe 8-minute runes, the support's idling nearby, ready to stack a camp and contest. We need a power rune now for Noob to try and tip the scales in his balance. Everyone else is not just farming away in these side lanes. Yeah, I mean, FPZ is starting to feel the heat from morphing, so he has to start dragging waves and avoiding the morphing. Morphing already level 6 right now. Male level 8 appears to be heading on a course to gank this bottom lane. Has a haste rune in the bottle. They see Sumail, they picked him up on a ward. Matthew joining here as well. But this should give Naive enough notice for him to play it a bit safe. So we have the supports rotating opposite where they have not still found this ward that Kuroki's been defending. This is a very crucial Miracle. ward. In trouble. We're going to try for oh. Miracle into the arrow, arrow, into the boat. Good damage. Sumail is TPing, as is Matthew. What can they really change here? Quite a bit. Do they have any catches now? The only question. Seems like Ducalis with the tree volley should be slowed enough. As with the homing missile, he is as good as dead. Kill. Yeah, this is oh, definitely worth it for the CM to die in. So many heroes tipping top. I mean, Sumail with the haste, so at least he won't lose too much time. He's running back towards the mid lane. But well played by Quest that poking out so much rotations from Nigma. Dyer's middle tower a little bit of attack. breathing room for a noob who farms a wave comfortably under the enemy tower down bottom as well it relieves the the gank that was coming for Radiant's this morphling he's now comfortably attack. farming and even kind of bullying fbz with these adaptive strikes to the point where noob is going to rotate over they're going to try and make a play here not a lot of tps ready for nigma to defend against a move like this we'll see if they can kill him as out comes the ravage beautifully avoided there by naive perfect timing an easy kill onto the tide hunter and most importantly winter Another two and a half minutes without a Ravage. Yeah, that was very nicely done there by TA2000, just dodging the Ravage. It's just very good heads-up play there, expecting the Ravage to be used defensively. And unfortunately for them, because his teammates TP top to help the Sven, so nobody can TP bottom to help him. Just utilizing the TPs on being on cooldown there. Well done by Quest. Right, ten minute rune. We'll see if Noob can finally get a rune. It's not like he's not really been getting any all match, and finally he'll oh, find one of the shield rune. rune. Immediately active. Sumail will do his best to chip away through it, but Noob, he's gonna get a little bit aggressive here. Now they've already used the arrow. Okay, but they got Noob him. going underneath the tower does catch him at the very least with the eighth of remnant. They need a little bit more arrow in three. Sumail is gonna be too tanky, but they will force him back. Question is, can they actually? Will they find a tower out from this? I don't know about the tower, but the wagon has arrived, so Sumail can't afford to just kind of leave either. Top lane, I see them making a move behind the tower as the Kunkka seems like he is so bullying the He needs to refill the bottle. Yep. Okay, Sumail gets a bottle of refill, so he's going to have some, re have some resource right Clutch now. Much time in there by Matthew. Malik, Malik threw a boat at Miracle, and Miracle did not care. However, Miracle might care because there's a Maiden coming, but Sumail, another TP rotation for the top lane. Malik, he hasn't scouted him. Oh, but the lane Mal's up. That makes things awkward here. Sumail is going to make the move first for Ducalis. Goes so far as to actually use... Oh, nice dodge there on the rift. Uh, had the arrow incoming, but oh my goodness, through the gate is naive. I didn't see that one coming, and Malik, he's got him there with the Tidebringer. That was very, very beautiful by, by naive. Coming from the Twin Gate, just assisting his team and just giving them the, 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 the last bit of damage to take out Sumail. That was such a big kill. Yeah. That's, that shocked me. Game, game changing moment right there for, for Quest. And that gives them the slight lead right now. They're gonna even extend it by killing the tower here. <laughs> Noob with the aggressive pick pole there. Yeah, no, that, that was huge, right? Because that is uh, going to be another rotation from Sumail. This time it goes poorly. Noob, it feels like his game winter has stabilized. He's just been parked mid lane. Maybe now he can finally get a rune here at the 12 minute mark. But he's not been having a good game. Takes down the tower of Sumail. And maybe with a good rune here. What are we missing? We're missing regen. We're missing amplified damage and illusion, I believe. 
Yeah, I mean, this is a result of them controlling the runes that supports winning. Like, it's, it's all the first rune fight, right? Where, they, where the Gyro died, and then after that, they lost control of the 6 and 8 minute rune. And even though Noob, he got solo kill, remember? Earlier in the game, he got solo killed mm -hmm. by the pup. Mm -hmm. And now he's like fully Dyer's recovered, actually, even ahead of uh, Sumo. Just because of the runes. Yeah. And the rotation from Naive. Again, I, I think that's really clutch. He rotates, he's already got his full Vlads. How are they going to kick him out of the lane? The question is well, at least the proposed answer is, is going to be a smoke play. But so. look, Omar, he's going to tank the gank for them here. Sumail actually might not be able to get the kill as Noob makes the jump on in. He's going to have to disassemble it on by out. But yeah, he does have the amplified damage rune. Arrow is not going to find Sumail. But Omar will, and with the right clicks, just doesn't have enough. Chasing after him, Blood Grenade. He will live on 20 HP there, Winter. But Matthew does not noob with the rest of this amplified damage room. He's also going to farm a little stack here. Yeah, this game is just getting out of hand right now for, for Enigma. Every single move that they make is getting really exploited by, by Quest, you know. TP top. Snowballing, they kill the tight bottom, and tight uses Ravage, and the middle fight, tight didn't have Ravage. Can they take this stack? This feels like it's too much. This feels like it, maybe if you had Maiden ulti, you could take the stack, but I think it's too dangerous, especially with FBZ having a Ravage. Yeah, they, they just need to just back off uh, after forcing them to come defend. Just wait for their timings. They're gonna hit a pretty huge timing with this Orchid. Uh, I think the bigger one is the Aghanim, so on the Conquer. He's already halfway there, you know. I think they should chill a couple of minutes, finish those items, but never mind. They want to go with the Moonlight, they feel like it's the time to strike right now. And they might be able to find them farming the stacks here just after. Radiant oh, actually, standing. they have their target set elsewhere, and it's going to be a, for another kill oh, onto so Sumail. Well. They're going to reach him with the Orchid, holding him down there with the Aether Remnant, an easy kill. They, he's dead before the Torrent can even come out. This is really, really bad news. That is the best kill I think you can get with the Orchid reveal. I don't think there's any other kill. Even the Sven kill doesn't feel like it worth, it's worth so much. No jump now, Matthew. Caught farming under the tower. He's gonna catch an arrow, catch a boat, catch a freaking another death for him. Nine to six here. Quest moving him around the map in style with confidence, Winter. Yeah, very, very good textbook play. You know, whenever you get a lead, you get the runes. This is what you have to do. And then getting item timings like Orchid. Just perfect play, you know, yeah. for Quest so far. And look, Enigma, they need to try to. They have to try to group together with the Ravage. I, I don't see them doing anything else. If they try to farm and speed up the map, people are just going to die on the map. Agreed. It's a little bit scary, right? Noob farming aggressively in their face. He knows he has uh, this Orchid, this regen rune as well, right? Uh, so he is extremely hard to kill here. And he's taking up space on the enemy map, right? Even Ducalis is farming a cheeky little camp here and there. He's got a very deep ward down. Yeah. I mean, Richie, they're going to sweep across the map right now. To cut them off. I think they're just gonna kill Sumail gonna... again underneath the tower. Okay, they didn't catch it with the Aether Remnant. Do they need to? Did they need to? Is the question? The answer is no. Another kill on a Sumail. Well, that's that's three deaths in the last what three minutes for the king? Yeah, absolutely punishing him for not having any dispel to deal with this uh, Orchid right now. I mean, Sumail was actually so far ahead in the early game, and right now he's just miles away from. Dyer. I'll move on this white spirit. Well, they just demolishing him after he gets the ultimate. Those two really key kills. And now there's no, there's not much play left, you know, for the puck. He has to kind of just play very defensively till he gets his heals. But I think that he's just gonna still die. Yeah, it's way too difficult right now. I mean, they'll finally get this tower. They they will effectively look, boot look at, the more. Look at the vision as well. They have like totally taken co full control of the top jungle, away from Nigma. Yep, playing around these three wards. There's the regen that pops. They're just, they're daring anyone to come in. But Nigma, at last, they will realize that they're kind of cornered here. They're cordoned off more accurately. Yeah, everyone is like farming bot except for the Sven. So this is definitely getting crowded here in the bottom area. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel very NPC good. says, okay, I'm probably the only one that can deal with the Orchid right now because I have Kraken Shell. Right. So I'm going to be the one taking mid. That makes sense. He's got the rest of the team moving behind him. Some decent ward set up here in the jungle for Enigma. They, they might be able to make these pay off if they can just force Quest off their side of the map, force a fight here. That might go well for them, but this might go terribly here as well as Miracle. He's just going to run in the middle of three Moonlight Shadowed heroes. They're going to set off onto him. Nice morph there from Naive as they put him in the grave. Miracle, I mean, I don't know actually who was TPing in to save him, but they canceled the TP. Their time's better spent farming. Nothing they can do about this. 
Yeah, I mean the Sven uh, again. You know, I feel like he he actually needs to just be you know in the bot side. You know, doing ancients. Uh, the top side right now is just way too difficult for him. It's too hot. They need to give. Yeah, they need to give that area to some expendable targets Ooh. or the. Hold pop, on. You know. That's a kill, wow, Sumail. Oh no. I don't know if it is Sumail. Oh, he's gonna go for it. The Marana stopped going through the gate, but uh, he couldn't get the kill. Okay, he didn't want to call him. Nope. I guess. I felt like it was worth it, you know, given the situation. Any kill is actually so valuable. I think he was probably yeah, scared he, of enemies coming through the gate. Because then there's. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's true, too. And he already used his up, right? So he, he's just worried. Because he, he saw. I mean, yes, he has a illusion rune to the remove. That's, the a, that's a good point. That's a good point. But I, I, he, he didn't know who's coming through the gate. It was Omar, probably the least scary hero. But if it was like the Kunkka coming through yeah, the gate. Yeah, but I also feel like he's shaken by the last couple of deaths. For sure. You know? Normally, I think he would have gone for that kill. All right. I, mean, I, I think you've got a point there. I think you've got a point. Once you're thinking like me, you're not going to win any Dota games is what you're saying, <laughs> basically. Come on, Richie. Come <laughs> on. Hey, look, I'm not, if, I was, if I had a better mentality, maybe I'd be playing in these qualifiers. But <laughs> instead, Winter, I'm stuck casting here with you. FBZ, we'll see what he can get done now. He has the Ravage. They're jumping his teammate. Kuro, he's going down, but they're keeping FBZ outside, isolated from this fight. As finally the Ravage comes out, but it's not going to do anything to save Kuro. Does cancel the freezing field, but it's not going to even save his own life. Another Ravage here, Winter, that just... Doesn't really feel that impactful, honestly. Yeah, this game feels like it's gonna be close to over right now. With the Ravage being expanded, it's gonna give a quest free reign on the map. They're gonna be able to decide whether they wanna take Rosh after this. Wait, or play around the bottom area and wait for the daytime Rosh. And right now they're doing both, aren't they? They're, they're still farming mid, threatening in that area. They're gonna see Sumail on this ward again. Here are the pings. Let's see what they can set up on him for. I think they're gonna send Malik through the twin gate to try and cut him off. We can hear the put the sorry, the pick pull from Noob as he runs his way on over here. Actually down bottom, Malik is gonna go for the kill onto the tiny. Uh the what this guy is Neo in the Matrix. He didn't get hit by a single torrent storm. Is that a joke? That's unbelievable. FBZ is gonna come through and save him. But Sumail is gonna be the next one to be in trouble as ooh. They go fishing there with that Aether Remnant and miss. He's probably not going to feel too comfortable farming that camp anymore. FBZ showed bottom. Malik's still down here as well. I think he's going to run past this ward. Oh, but he's got his Moonlight Shadowed and he's just so fast. They can't catch him. And they're still hunting for Sumail out they're here. They're going to find him. They're going to find him. Oh, they have the vision. And they get the bite. Yes, indeed. In time. And there goes Noob. No more illusion rune here. Winter, the blood grenade even thrown. It's like a slap on the face for him as he's going to get caught and killed by Noob. What, a fourth time this game? This is a this is a, a puck. A Sumail puck. Who four minutes in, got a solo kill onto the Void Spirit. Yeah, just not having the dispel. Not, not oh, no way, that arrow. Uh, Good dodge. Waiting for the Witch Blade, so paying the price here against the Omni. They're gonna fight here. They have an X onto FBZ. Freezing Field is out. They know he doesn't have a Ravage. He's difficult to take down, but he will fall eventually, as will this Tier 2 Tower. Quest one by one, they are just felling Nigma. They're gonna fall into the lower bracket at this rate. I mean, they have a dagger right now in time. I mean, this is a, a morphing which is kind of like uh, running into no answers right Nick Mars heroes they don't really have a way to kill him right now no vessel no pure damage hero nothing, check you know, out nothing this map so you see that scan oh my goodness Miracle's lucky to be alive right he was just farming that camp they've, they've got his scent man and they know there is nowhere else for him to farm apart from the opposite side <laughs> yeah. of the map it's just it's just a terrifying it's terrifying for them, and and these kinds of games feel so bad because I I see the moves that Enigma are trying to or sorry I see the moves that Enigma are trying to make like planting wards deep in the enemy jungle, you know you're you're trying to to get something on the other side of the map force them back there where a ward's not going to be expected you smoke take a fight underneath that good vision you planted earlier and you're right back in the game but that's just not how it's been playing out here, and Quest they, they've had no reason to be in their own jungle. So vision that otherwise maybe could have been useful on your side of the map to get a better fight it just feels wasted on the other side. It's this like compound effect of losing and making these decisions that just make this game so hard to get back into. But we'll see, man. There's another They're going to have BKB. Okay, BKB might be a, a lifesaver. I mean, the Swan BKB, they have to... I think they have to fight. What do, you, don't have a what do you think about this? Sumail going for the Blink Dagger, still has no Dispel. Had the Yules initially. 
it's a little too late. I think that he feels like he needs to be able to start the fights for his team because Tide doesn't have a dagger, right? Tide's the front line with the Shroud and the Vlads. So somebody has to start the, the fight. You don't want the Sven to be the first one, you want the Sven to hit his target, right? So Puck has to do it. I mean, now, now they're gonna have into it. Run into even more problems with the uh, morphling having Aegis. They're hunting. Like, how are this? They're how hunting, are they supposed and they see the Sumail, Tori, low kick. Whoa, Sumail! What the hell was that, brother? Oh, he couldn't blink out in time, though. I don't think this blink's gonna do him any good. He's just gonna die with a prettier inventory. There he goes. He pops to the soul bird. Noob's not even paying him any attention. He's already farming the damn Sager's winter. And Noob is uh, definitely stalling. You know, what? What a comeback! Yeah, you know, dying okay, so, hold so. on. Maybe this is something here. Malik. I mean, he's damn tanky though. Now he's gonna get the rumba. Orange storm. Orange storm. Is it gonna catch anyone? Who's killing who, Richie? I don't know. I think Kuro's gonna die just as crossfire. Miracle's running on in, but you have noob connecting from the top jungle. You have top and mid pushing in pretty hard now. I don't know if Nigma want to be here anymore. They don't have a. They don't have a puck. Kuro somehow arrow somehow miss. dodges the arrow, but Matthew's gonna get caught there. Tried to blink initiate. Kuro realizing he doesn't want to be here anymore either. As noob astral steps through him. That'll give Naive the kill. I think this is looking really bleak right now for Nigma. They haven't been able to string together move the whole game. And every moment in the game just feels like Quest just hunting Nigma down. Quest having the stronger timings and just making sure that they're hurting them like cattle, pushing them across the, at all corners of the map, using their wards to their advantage. It's been really, really tough, you know. I think Miracle's about to walk underneath another enemy ward. Yeah. And they have to fight. I don't see this game being able to change, you know, if Miracle doesn't find a way to join a fight. They have to try to find a fight. Okay, he's going to push the one wave back out, collect Lotus's TP away, I suppose. Oh, no, he's going to go, he's going to cross the bridge. Lotus, Lotus is not for the carries, you know, it's for the support players. That's true. Carries have no time to spare to pick up Lotus. <laughs> so, uh, this will be the BKB though, won't it? It is. So, Miracle at least has that ready to go. That's something. Yeah, I can't believe he actually didn't split his echo to fight earlier. He just decides to keep everything there. I feel like his team is just wait, yearning, you know, for wait, the carry. No, to come. no way he's gonna try and send. Yeah, okay. I was, I was gonna say, I mean, this corner still might die though. This is the BKB. What? I can't believe he's calling it like this. Yoink. No BKB for three minutes. Hello, Miracle. You're underneath our ward. No. Oh, what? oh my god. He wants to kill the creep. He wanted to kill the satyr. Whew. Uh, they're, he's... they're hunting. I mean, he has a TP, folks. He has a TP. He just doesn't have a BKB. He's... He still wants to farm the ancient camp. I think he's going to die. He farms the camp. I mean. Holy shit. Ducalis? Greed. Nova? Oh, oh, he got he him! Him. Oh, oh, no. my God. oh, Oh, the cook no. is TPing in. Oh, the crystal clone. What now, Miracle Boat? Into X Mark. He's going to blink away, but that X is going to drag his ass right on back. Do they have the damage? Yeah. Yeah, I think they do. Arrow sailing in. That will secure the kill. Holy crap. The greed. He knows the enemy already saw him in the clear, right? Noob. The Noob. He's oh my god, he's just on a Sumail. BKB active Sumail. What are you going to do, son? He's just dead. 12, King 1, and 2. Fallen again. Long live the new king. Long live Noob. He's just been slaying him all game. This has to be so frustrating for Nigma. This kind of a game. Yeah, when your cores are not working together, everybody is just uh, playing for their own game, not for the team. That's what you're gonna see. Okay, toss back. FBZ toss back. trying to bait. This could be at least a kill on the maiden. It's something. It's not much, but Matthew, he's gonna go down first, and the crystal clone actually gets Ducalos out of harm's way. I don't believe it. DA2000 beaten into your buildings. Noob's here to join him as well. Does that BKB? Yeah. Enigma, they're reviving soon, but there's also no BKB on Sven for a minute. Boat incoming, there's gonna be the buyback, FBZ tossed, still has Ravage, just doesn't have a really great opportunity to use it as Noob covering his tracks now. With the 8th Remnant, does he you know, just Astral step away? Buyback out from Matthew, but it's starting to feel... 
Starting to feel really hopeful right now, honestly, for Enigma. Oh, at least they have to wait for the courier. <laughs> yep, that's true. Wait for 30 seconds, BKB back. 30 seconds. Then you'll have at least that. And and you know what? Aegis is reclaimed. Okay, so now you only got to kill TA2000 once. Next row, she's going to have to be the objective winter. It will spawn bottom, guaranteed. And Nygma, they've already got some vision set up down here with this kind of cliff ward up. Kuro. Oh, Malik has a gem. If they can actually get him here, he's in a very dangerous position. Be a big pick off. Matthew. He's taking the next wave. So greedy. Wait, oh. but Matthew, will he cut him off? He he's could be caught. a hero here. Oh. They don't know he's alone. They don't trust it, and I don't blame them, but they're playing afraid, Winter. Look at him. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't blame them, you know, for the whole game they've been in. Okay, there's going to be the toss back. Here's the damage. Sumail laying into him as Malik. He is going to go down, but now at what price? As Noob, he's on the way in. Arrow sailing on through. FBZ holding on to the Ravage because there's two BKB heroes. He can't feel a damn about. That's going to be at least a kill onto not just Malik, but the support's already down. The ward is still up. Finally taken down here by Omar, who's recovered the gem, but Miracle's in with the BKB active now. Trying to take down Ducalus, the bonus armor, making this difficult, making this very difficult. Ravage used for the kill. Is that is gonna try and TP away? He'll at least live. Okay. <laughs> Maiden says, I take that anytime, any, any day, you know. <laughs> My life for a Ravage, sure. Oh, man. Oh, no. hey. And that's the despair you feel it when you are the tight hunter and you're, you're having such a tough game, your calls are not helping you, nobody is initiating for you, and you have to do so much. It's tough, you know? It's tough. It's tough. And, and what do you have left to defend with? I mean, there is no Aegis, sure, but Noob didn't have to use the BKB. Miracle. They got him. No. He's Exma. No, no BKB. No way. No way. Oh, Malik all over. by himself didn't care. He bought back for this winter. TP's incoming. I don't know about this one, though. Miracle, he's just gone. And Matthew, yes, he doesn't have a buyback either. At least Noob is going to have some respect there. Doesn't want to die so quickly. He will get straight onto those top barracks. FBZ is trying to defend bottom against TA2000. This is... Uh, uh, has has to be at least two lanes now. Which, so that's a problem. They might only have two lanes. Okay. 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 They break the coil. All right. There's the combo we're looking for. Now, can you take down Noob is the question because he's already killed Sumail. Kuro dies. Basically, do all the splash damage here. And FBZ cannot offer much. He's without a Ravage. He's without any teammates. They're going to do him the disrespect of not even killing him. Look at them. Look at them. They're just killing the barracks. He blinks in saying, pay attention to me. Respect me. You will kill me. I am a hero. But he falls like a doll. Just absolutely so little impact from FBZ in this game, unfortunately. Quest decide taking I down the barracks is more worthy. Oh my God, that's, that's such a sad way to die. Getting played, point, push to the left, push to the right, push to the front, push to the back. He's getting bullied by Quest right now. It's Tide Hunter. It's Watermelon, you know, just getting rolled around. It's not fair, Winter. Life is not fair, you know. The sooner you understand that, the better it is for you. Tough game, tough game here for Nigma, who again will not be out um, if they lose here. They go to the lower bracket, but uh, they play immediately following this, so they're they're in for a kind of a brutal day. If things continue this course, now there's still always room for a comeback winter. They didn't secure the megas there, uh, but if things continue, uh, I, I believe they play a match. No, 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 sorry. They drop to the lower bracket finals, and we are gonna. Tomorrow. Yeah, so our, our next match is not them. Our next match is gonna be uh, Fun Gamers versus Copy uh, Copy Breba. Oh, match is not over yet. Still. Nope. The nail in the coffin, you know, for Quest to actually put it in. Nigma has one last uh, shot here. They have to contest the rush. There's no way they can give up the rush. Well, they're well on their way. And I mean, Kunkka did buy back previously, so that could be a way back in this kind of a game. But Roche is not going to take long at this rate. And we have Waveform Attacks targets now, which is absolutely terrifying. What's the initiation source here? Blink Ravage into the pit. That's what it's going to have to be. There's the Roar of Retribution out, the scan. Counted by this Moonlight oh. Shadow. See what they can yeah, do. Yeah. This, is a, ready. this is a nice sneak around. FBZ. 
Gonna take the uh, Watcher as he sneaks around, blinks into the pit, but there's no one home. Instead, it's Miracle who finds Noob. The Ravage doesn't catch him in time. He gets the BKB off that piece. He didn't catch anything. He's just taking down Wards now because the team fight is breaking down all around him. Miracle, he's killed off by the boat. Matthew dies, and the Kuro is left completely by himself. GG, well played his call. That was the fight. They had to get it right in. It just didn't come together for them there, Winter. It's the 2-0 win here for Quest. They move on to the BO5 Grand Finals tomorrow. Yeah, there's just too much pressure on the uh, initiators, you know? Like, uh, it's very, very difficult for them to just wait. Sometimes you have to just go in a bit. Sven, you have to go and burst a hero. Because if you go in and use your BKB and the fight gets uh, dragged out, your BKB runs out, and then you're definitely losing that fight in small finger. So, Nigma felt like they had to do something really, really drastic there just with the Ravage and she just brings in and well, sometimes uh, the game is just too difficult for you, you know. It was a good attempt but ultimately not very fruitful for Nigma. I mean, they have bigger problems, you know, other than just the last team fight. I feel like uh, the players are just not like uh, syncing together, you know. They are, everybody just seems like it's playing for their own timing. Like, it's very clear that Sumel and Miracle, they are both playing for their own timings. Yes, sure, sometimes you may say, oh, when Miracle's getting ganked, you know, they're TPing heroes, uh, Sumail's going to, to help him. But sometimes I feel like uh, Miracle has to move, you know. In these two games, uh, I feel like they didn't really remember him TPing. Maybe there was like one or twice where he came in the first game and he came to his team. Whereas this game, I felt like he actually needed to come and help his team or he had to abandon his lane quicker so that the supports can take over and get levels, you know. But he was sitting in his lane. And then remember the move where he was sitting in the lane, he was farming, and then he got ganked, he got X marked. Everybody TP top, saved him. They got a Ducalis Crystal Maiden kill. Mm -hmm. And then Tight died immediately at bottom. He used Ravage to try and save himself, but nobody could TP because everybody TP top. Right. And they lost control of bottom area. They invaded. And they pushed mid immediately after the Tight Ravage bought and died because they, they know FBZ doesn't have Ravage, right? They cannot defend the mid tower. So they pushed mid and they lost mid. You know, it's like such a uh, such a bad sequence of events for Enigma just because of one right, you know, they right. keep it top and then Quest uh, I mean from there right the, they're, they're securing runes they're playing off the strength of this Orchid and they just man they yeah, really they just, just snowball the game yeah. the three wards in the middle area they saw Sumail two times they killed him two times does it, you know, the whole game just fell into pieces but I felt like those are the type of situations where Sven had to come and fight uh, with his team. Even, God damn it, even the Morphling came and fight, you know. The, yeah. <laughs> the, the Sven needed to come and contribute. You know? he, had, he has the ability to contribute. He has to come and fight, you know. And the nail in the coffin for me at the end was he, he didn't disassemble his Echo Saber to actually get the BKB earlier so that he can actually fight with his team. I felt like his team was in despair mode, right? They needed to do something and they needed the Sven to be there, you know. And then he just didn't disassemble and he... He farmed, he finished his BKB, he bought another Ogre, Ogre Axe, and then the career died oh my in the god, jungle to was, the Conquer. And then he, that was and crazy. I, oh my god. Yeah, that was tough. That was, was tough to was, watch. It was it was very tough. That that was like that was like watching a horror movie, you know, where like the, the killer is walking up behind the little victim and you're like, No, I can't watch and well that's kind of how this entire series went for Nigma, unfortunately. But fortunately for them and for all the Nigma fans, I know there's a lot of Nigma lovers uh, in the uh, and uh, watching for us. We are going to be uh, going to a break. It's a long break. It's two hours long, in fact. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of other qualifiers online, actually. Uh, so I would highly suggest that you guys check out the other games that are ongoing right now. Uh, what do you have? You have Tundra Secret kicking off. You have Western Europe, sounds like. Mao's versus Entity kicking off. Those will be more, probably on the main channels. Uh, China is wrapping up, and then SA is going to be starting uh, in around two hours' time. So uh, for us, Winter, we're going to be going to a very long break, and then we're going to be coming back with Kopi Breba versus uh, Fun Gamers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the coverage, and uh, we'll catch you in two hours for our next uh, our next match. Catch you soon.
starts with this A person that you miss Mind draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself
it starts with this A person that you miss Mind draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself
Like a 
starts with this A person that you miss Mine draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself
starts with this A person that you miss Mine draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself Thank <laughs> you.
It starts with this A person that you miss Mine draws a blank I wanna go back, back to the early days When life was an escape Now I just wait for better days I lost myself in your reality I lost myself Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Pardon me. Uh, we made a little bit of a misclick there. Uh, wouldn't be a good old Seek and Strike production without a small little mistake like that. But, folks, uh, speaking of mistake, I don't, I don't know why this has happened, Winter, but uh, we have ourselves a... Uh, a lobby or a game that is going to be forfeit. It's it's going to be a deaf win as uh, fun gamers didn't show up. We waited here 40 minutes for them, which is the in the rulebook, the timer that we wait. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, Kopi Bebra were all in lobby ready to go. And, uh, well, it's going to be a deaf win. Not, not really the best way to end our day here, Winter. Unfortunately for those of us that wanted to see more Dota, but it is what it is. Yep. What can you do, ladies and gentlemen? Sometimes people just, you know, they just don't, don't want to play, you know. And unfortunately, we won't be able to be, to watch some, some mina dotes. Daughter, some mina dotes. All right, Winter. Let's keep it a buck fifty between me and you. Uh, it's gonna be between uh Kopi Bebra and Falcons. So it's uh, sorry, Enigma. Um. I'm going to assume Nigma is going to win that. The rematch, Nigma Falcons. What are you thinking here? Can Nigma pull it back? Do they have it within them? In a BO5? In a, uh, in they, a BO5? They, have to, they have to change so much, you know, fundamentally as a team. It's hard, you know. I mean, it's possible, but it's hard, you know. You, you need to iron out the, a lot of the strategies and the prioritizations, how you're playing as a team. I just feel like they're not playing as a team, you know, so they have to try to iron all the issues out. It's nothing about one person just messing up, making the whole game hard. You know, it's everybody coming together as a unit. So I think yep. they have to try to straighten things out and hopefully bring their best. They have to bring their best, you know, against uh, Press. You know, otherwise they won't stand a very good chance to win the series. Yeah, for sure. Quest uh, is a ser a very serious team. I, I like all the players, honestly, that are on Nigma as well. I think Matthew El Gotito, you know, hopefully things work out and they can get themselves to another land. Of course, Nigma in the Elite League, uh, so they'll at least have the chance to prove themselves there, but it'd be very nice to see them as well uh, in that very last Dream League of the year, which is taking place in about two months' time, folks. Uh, if you're still here, check out the other channels guys unfortunately we don't have a dota game again it's a 2-0 def win uh for team uh copy bebra they will be playing tomorrow versus Digma galaxy in the lower bracket finals winner will be taking on uh team psg quest uh for the coveted spot and a bo5 for the mina region that is it for us though guys again check out the other regions western europe is live i think sa just kicked off as well so lots of other dota is live and happening right now this is it for winter and i for the qualifiers hopefully you guys have enjoyed our coverage and uh, we will catch you on the next one folks until then stay safe bye bye bye, -bye.